Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Drew in the Moment. Happy Tie Dye Sunday. We want to welcome in everybody, everybody that's new, all of our uh, folks watching on the replay. Remember, you're here in spirit. I hope you guys are ready to have a fun time today. Shred and shed all of the negative and all of that stuff you don't want. Just put it aside. Let's have a good time today and just enjoy the Flower and Garden Festival here in Epcot 2024. Good morning, everybody. Corn Dog Gemma 402. Vultures, thank you so much for gifting some memberships here on the channel. Guys, let's show some love. Put some hearts in the chat. Oh, that is amazing. Thank you so much. Diz Lou, Open Plumbing, Laura LM. Good morning, good morning. Look at everybody coming in. The Wal Walma, I think I said it right. The Wallamala, I love it. Follow the Bradleys, Billy, Glenn, Shirley Brewer. Hello, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. We've got a, it's actually pretty nice. A little overcast today. It was raining earlier, but it is going to brighten up. There should be sun. I think they said around maybe 10, 1030. So we should be good. Good morning, Tanya Rodriguez, Melanie Smith. Hello, guys. Don't forget when you're coming on in to Bibbidi Bobbidi, boop that like and hit that subscribe if you have not yet. We have a ton of fun on this channel. Our viewers just elevate it and listen to the elevation of this music. Tell me this does not get you hyped up and ready to enjoy some Epcot. Francis, good morning. Valerie, good morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, we hope you feel better. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Right, Shirley? Exactly. It's that epic Epcot music. And you know what else is epic? It's how wonderful Queen V looks today. Oh my gosh. She's all flowery. She's all flowery. She's got her dress today. Flower and garden, but don't forget one thing. Wow. Monorail! <laughs> yeah! Can't have a day at Epcot without saying monorail. <laughs> All right, let me let me flip it around so we can we can both say hi. Boop. Good morning, everybody. Now, I want to get it out of the way because I know oh, yeah. at some point there'll be a question. And uh, for everybody that's here. Yes, I, I smashed my lip yesterday at work. I was trying to put a shelf up and it, and it came undone and smacked me right in the mouth. So, if any folks later on come into the chat and you see that they're asking, like, Drew, what happened to your, what happened to your lip? Oh, yeah. yeah, you can. If they come in and ask what happened to my lip, could you please do me a favor and just let them know what happened? Because I don't... I, it's one of those things that I don't want to have to keep repeating the, the story, but yeah, I split my lip. What are you going to do? But I'm really tough, so I only cried a little bit. Oh, he did. He didn't cry. <laughs> nah, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. What's funny, this is what's very funny about me. Emotionally, I cry all the time. Like movies, they get me, they get me wound up. But when I get hurt, I don't cry. I don't know. I, I, I get I get upset and irritated that yeah, I, I get I more irritated so. that I got hurt than I'm like upset about it. You know what I mean? But um, but guys, thank you for joining. If you are new to the channel, I am Drew. I'm Veronica from Queen Bee. Welcome guys to the channel. If you're new, click the like and subscribe. You right have now, to. Guys. I'm telling you. It's free. And guess what? If later on you're like, you know what? The, this channel stinks. You can just unsubscribe, but we hope you don't. But we hope you don't. Grow the channel, so yes. Growing like flowers. You growing know? like flowers, like here, at the uh, at here, the flower garden. The... One more time, monorail. We had to, but guys, seriously though, thank you for uh, joining us this morning. We're gonna go around. We're gonna show you guys some flowers. We're gonna get something to eat. Obviously, we have to get a bevy. From Joffrey's, right? We have to do that. So uh, let's wait here for Minnie. Uh, oh, you want to see if Minnie comes out? Okay. Uh, and guys, I want to let you know. Oh, oh, I gotta flip it. Boop. Oh, Goofy! 
really coming out strong. He came out strong, man. And mini. Now that that is one way to start off a stream. Goofy and mini. I know he's like breaking the door down. Not DoorDash, the door down. Um, but actually, let me see. I want to see if that one's better. That one for now. For now. It's a little. Matt Castle, dude. 19 months as a Drew Crew member. Thank you so much. Love you guys. No problem, Matt. Hey, everybody, you know, you, you, everybody at some point's got to go ninja, man. You got stuff to do. I get it. We get it. Um, but I would, I'm going to be I'm gonna be talking about this all day because we really want you guys to check out the video. We just premiered a video yesterday. From a place called Sweet Escape, it's a vacation rental. It sleeps like you could have over 50 people staying at this location. It is themed. It's, you know, around the Orlando area. It's insane. We really want you guys to check out the video because uh, we think you will enjoy it. It's kind of one of those things like you're not going to see that all the time. You know what I mean? It's very cool. And thank you for those of you that have watched it and also joined the premiere. Uh, means a lot to us, it really does, because the, the, the vlogs, the videos, they, they help our channel so much uh, with the growth and, uh, and, and just allowing us to expand on, on YouTube and to keep bringing you guys lives as well as the videos. So it's a big, it really is a big help, guys. They say my blush you when I went out when I the vlog. Laura LM, I hear you. I know, trust me, I felt like I got a cavity as soon as I... As soon as I walked into <laughs> into the rental, it was crazy. But for those of you that watched it, tell the other folks that they need to watch it because it was. I I think it was a good video. You know, we had a lot of fun. Mike M, Evan Hudden, what's up, buddy? Patrick Julian, Stephanie Kramer, Spider Bro, Mike Wazowski, what's going on, guys? Hi. Today it's all about flowers. And gardens. <laughs> and gardens. <laughs> oh, and Andy Mount Hood. Thank you so much, man. Uh, dude. So, special events. I mean, it's just the special event is that it is flower and garden. Yeah, so, on Wednesday, right? just started on Wednesday. Not yes. even a week yet. We're Not here. even a week, and we're here again. And the reason why is because it is our favorite festival of all of them. Like, Honestly, none of them even come close to this uh, festival for us. It's just, there's something about, it's beautiful. Like I said, uh, the other, uh, in the vlog we did, it's like, it kind of shows like, you know, the rebirth, spring, you know, everything is, is, is coming alive again. And I like that. I like that. You know what I mean? See, I know some of you guys want to see some flowers. I mean, because it's cold up north. As you can tell, look look at the dew. Well, it's not even dew, it's rain, but right on the flowers. Just gorgeous. Fernando Dale, good morning. Priscilla uh, Salmasi, hello. Let me see the lens. Oh, yeah, it's going good. Yeah, you cleaned it. We just want to say hi. We want to say hi to Walt. Yeah. Richmond Reefer, good morning. I don't. I have my card. Paul DeWolf, Wendy Darling, good morning. We're going to take a picture with Walt. Amazing. Nobody else is waiting, so we're good. Such a great, great statue, man. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. Give us one second, guys. We're going to get a, a pick. Actually, you know what? I'll do it this way. <laughs> Boop. Right there, 
Oh, that's always fun. And there's like, <laughs> now's the time to come. It's literally, there's like no line to, to get your, your photo with Walt. Laureen Fisher, good morning. This is Billy Glenn. Christy Castle, Erica, good morning, guys. Oh, flower and garden. I can just smell it. Ah, and then I kind of smell food, too. <laughs> Lots of food. Yeah. Flower and food, yeah, and this is that you know the new area. In case you did not know, most of you do, but in case you didn't know, new area and a ton of seating, which I think is awesome that they have more seating. Terry's in the house. Terry girl, yeah. <laughs> the back, the back, yes. I'm working out, dude. <laughs> Good morning, Terry. Hey, did, did... Terry, good healthy, hi, girl. Uh, Captain Cam says, how do you get your pictures? So, uh, what is it called? Photo, photo pass, photo pa <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Photo pass, it is, a, you know, if you're coming here, um, you're not an annual pass holder, you, you do have to pay for the photo pass, but it goes right on the app, so you just, you know, your, your pass, you just, you scan it after you're done, your ticket or whatever, you scan it after, uh, and then you have them downloaded on the app, on your phone, and you can do whatever you want with them, so. Whatever. whatever. And Figment, I think this is a fantastic spot for Figment, and Figment just looks awesome. Denise Bowen, good morning. Angie Latondras, hello. <laughs> See, I, I hear you. I know, sneezing, right? Oh, Captain Cam, right on, man. You rock too. Thank you for joining us this morning. And seriously though, if you're new to our channel, let us know you're new. Don't worry, we're gonna be nice. We just wanna welcome you in and uh, make you feel a part of our, our community here at Drew in the Moment. We can do whatever you want. We're, we're gonna go around that way, right? So guys, we're gonna go look at some, uh, some festival specific merch. If you guys don't mind, and then we're going to keep making our way and just have a wonderful day. So keep on booping that like button. And also, subscribe, man. I'm telling you. We, we, are, we are pretty confident you're going to have a good time with us here on the channel. So also, I want to let you know, opening, like, you know, the opening day of Flower and Garden. Huge line to get to merch. So <laughs> if you want to avoid that and you're like, I just want to be mellow about it. And that's usually how I am. Uh, then just wait, wait a couple days. As you can tell, we're just gonna walk right in. It was a crazy line on Wednesday, was a, so I didn't get to like, actually look everything. Yeah, so. Scott Hill, hello, welcome in, good morning. Hold on, I need to see something. You need to see something. Oh, Queen needs to see something, and I don't know what we're seeing. Oh yeah, yeah I look. Have you collected this one? Yes, you have. I know you well, have. I, have I gotta get this one. Okay, well let's find they out. They have it on Amazon too for like five bucks. Okay, and how much is it here? I don't know. And it's a little golden book. I don't know. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. This is one that I specifically remember. Is the pokey little puppy? I got the haunted mansion one. Yeah, you got the haunted uh, mansion. I thought you had the space mountain one I too. Yeah. I did too. I gotta get the it. pirates. So I. Those are like affordable, cool things, you know? I like, I'm saving it for my grand. Saving it for your grand? Hopefully I have. Yes, I know, I know. So, this spirit jersey, I love. It's got a little tie-dye vibe going on there. Yes, I know, I loved it when I saw it. And just so cute. It's just so cute. Gene Heath, welcome in from Minnesota. Michelle Kamara, hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, but what I love, once again, I'm a big fan of like, they, they put some print on the arm. You know what I mean? I feel like you get your money's worth out of that. 80 bucks. Other thing that was one of my favorite. 
the, the little plant pot. Gonna, I'm going to end up getting it later on. Yes, I, well, honestly, I think we should because this would be amazing. Now, what would you put in it? What do you think? What kind of, like, yeah, no, would you put, like, an herb or would you put, a, like, a flower? It has to be flowers. Yeah? I think. I think so, too. I think maybe, uh, maybe some marigolds. Maybe some cilantro. <laughs> I love cilantro. And it's always funny to me because uh, it's just like, in case you didn't know, sorry, fun fact, Drew story. Cilantro is one of, I think, five things in the world that if you, you like, you're born either liking it or not liking it. Like, if you don't yes. like it, you'll never like it. It tastes like soap. It tastes like soap. Like, for my father, my, my dad does not like cilantro. It tastes like soap to him. And I'm like, well, it's the best soap I've ever had. <laughs> But now uh, this is really nice too. I like these. What was that? Let me guess. Thirty-five. Come on. No, this is a corksicle. Oh, is it a corksicle? So fifty-five. Fifty. Fifty. Forty-nine. Okay. And I love this. This is one of my favorite little things. Yeah, orange bird, and you get to juice it, and it, you have orange juice in a cup, ready to go. Boom, juice it, and you're ready to go. Oh, when he says she has a soap thing. <laughs> so for blue. Erica, yeah, yeah. But like you will never learn to like it. You will. It'll always taste like that to you. I also love cilantro. But you know what? It's one of those things where I'm like, oh man, if I couldn't have cilantro, I'd be devastated. But if you don't know what you're missing, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I love this too. You can put your squeezed orange juice or like use it as a creamer. You know, it's pretty cute. Thirty bucks. So true. Yeah. Every festival, most of them had a hundred, the scavenger. The scavenger, yes. Do you see the prices? For no, I didn't. For this year? How much is it? The fifteen? No, no, no. What is the oh, pri price? Oh, prizes. Price. I thought you said prices. No, the price. Do you see it? No. Uh, Am I going to geek out? It's cute. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go around. I want to show you guys. It's a great shirt. Just a, a, a little expensive, but I mean, it's one twenty-five. 125. Great shirt though. It's cute. I, I just honestly though, like when I when I saw it and I touched it and everything, I thought like maybe like 80. Yeah. 75, 80 bucks. Because you know. It's a festival, it's official. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. no, it, it's awesome. I just, I don't know who Rain Spooner is. Maybe, maybe that's like yeah, maybe super good, but I thought like, okay, if I'm paying 125, I want to tell me, tell me Bahama. Yes. You know? <clears throat> oh, oh, no, that couple is looking at. I think we're good. All right, so we're going to show you guys the pro. Are you kidding me? Get out of town, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You have got to be kidding me. They're little cornholes. <laughs> it's little cornholes. Are you, that, is, are cute. that is just mind-blowing to me. It really is. If you have to pick two, which one you pick? Two. I got to go Orange Bird and Coco. Okay. I didn't even have to think about it. They're the ones that pop the most to me. These are, these are nice, but they're a little more muted. But how cool is that? That is hilarious. Johnny Neverland, good morning. What's up, buddy? Oh yeah, this is yes, this is the mini the mini bright pink. It's cute. I like it. I really like this like it's almost like a magenta pink, right? <clears throat> Wouldn't you say? Yes. Or an electric pink. I think it looks really, really, really poppy. Really poppy. You see when you get your cut flowers? Oh, you cut flowers. I thought it was like uh, one of the hats you sleep with. You know what I mean? Like the sleeping hats. <laughs> that looks like a sign you put. Oh, a sign in your garden. 35? That's not terrible for that. Yeah, the hat is so pretty, right, Kennedy? Sue Ann Cook, good morning, Foggy. Kenny D, what's up? So this is the oh. one that turns into an orange. Oh, it turns, it turns into an orange. Orange, you're glad she didn't say banana? Because that would have been weird. It would have had nothing to do with what we're showing you. <laughs> oh, look how... This is good, though. Very, like... Well, for now, until little pieces of fuzz get in there, and then it won't stick. So I don't know what it is. Oh, look at Queen. She's not messing around. He gets in his little cocoon. That is so cute. <laughs> That's awesome. It's kind of like a pillow pet. It is. It's like a pillow pet. <laughs> oh, I want to show the doonies. I don't think not too many people Excuse show me. the doonies. No, I think you're right. Let's go check out the doonies. 
And we got to show the uh, lounge fly again because it's awesome. But great time to come into is early in the morning if you're looking to get uh, get your merch. Oh, that's really nice. See, this looks very, uh, very. I don't want to say elegant. Not elegant's the wrong word. Very just stylish. Very. Yeah, I really like like I like that dark blue with this like bluish green going on there. I like it a lot. I really do. That's a that's a great print. Yeah, cross back. Right? And you get a cross back, of course. <laughs> Those are really nice though. That's a great print. And I love I just love, I think the reason why I love it the most is that it's Orange Bird. I'm a huge Orange Bird fan. Cute as heck. And then these Alex and Annie's. Oh, they got Ariel there. Dude, this one is cute. Watch. It's hitch. Oh, stitch. Let me try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it better. Oh, that is really nice. 325. But you know which one I really like is this one right here. That's nice. 350. Very cool watches. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at this, guys. And during the moment, you can watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> Christina L., welcome in. And that's awesome. I hope you have a great trip. Rod's fam, hello. Oh, Rod's fam loves your ears. Very appropriate. This is my flower and garden. It is your flower and garden ears, and I, but I love that uh, your your dress matches the like the the color of the ears. Okay, and then we want to show you because they have a lot. So I I knew nothing about this, but I guess was it last uh, flower and garden or art festival? Art festival. They had that figment. They had figment of this bag lug. And I guess it's sold out in like a day, and then they get another shipment in, and it's sold out in a day. But as you can tell, not so much with Orange Bird, because they still have them. So if you are looking for them, don't worry about it. <laughs> they got a lot, I think. Oh, and this is a lug, a lug pass holder. Oh, yeah. That's really, it's like soft. Oh, and look at that. These bags have so many packets. Oh my goodness. This is a cool bag, I gotta say. Oh. That's cool. Look, look. It's like so many, like, hidden. No, that's not one. <laughs> hidden packets. But it is a pass holder, I guess, right? Pass holder exclusive. And should be cheaper because it's a pass holder. You would. 125? Okay. But you get your pass holder discount, I would imagine. Uh, yeah. So that's pass holder that also is pass This one I think is it's super cute. I love that it's yellow too. But spring has sprung. That little bee. So adorable. This is also a pass holder shirt. Sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I gotta get that. Sorry guys, let me do that. Boop. There we go. Totter, good morning, Derek Stout. Laura Aloha, Brianne Anderson, good morning, Rob Molina, Blakey Fun, Susie Ro Susan Robinette, and Jeremy, what's up, buddy? Thank you so much. Uh, is there anything special you'd like to do at Epcot? Honestly, just keep showing you guys, you know, everything about the fest uh, for the festival. I want to show you some flowers. We got it. We got to go get a little bite to eat. Because you got to eat when you're here at the festival. But I want to show you guys this. Red Rocker, what's up, Randy and Tammy? This is the greatest thing. Boop, boop. Come on, oh, man. It's How... a little bit, it's growing, you know, a little orange tree. Yes. Out of the little pot, it's so cute. It's windy. No, he's saying, yeah, he's saying hi. He can say hi. I love it. It's 88 bucks. It's a love really cute bag. They put in the oh, yeah. strap, little orange. That is awesome. All right. I want to go look at the pigment section. Let's do it. Heidi Fee, good morning and happy 24th birthday, Abby. So right now the work day is closed until 11. Yes. Monorail. 
I don't even know if you can see it, but. <laughs> this is uh, this is the Billy Glenn series, uh, in case you guys didn't know. Mr. Pizza Billy Glenn, yeah, it's the Billy Glenn series. Lots of pizza going on there. <laughs> Whenever I see that, it looks like like he's going wham. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, those are nice. No way. Those are really nice. They have plenty. Yeah, I think they've got a couple in case you wanted these years. Quantarius Davis, good morning. Welcome in. I'm right here. A little, uh, a little R two D two ears, super so, cute. I'm looking for the Guardians of the Galaxy New Ears. Do you know where they are? What? They are in uh, the Xandar store. Let's do it. Queen doesn't want to mess around. Uh, it's funny because I saw that too. If you guys didn't know, there's uh, I can, I can, I no, no, they're they're amazing ears. Uh, it's it's got the little tape. Wait, what? <laughs> she just pulled one on me. She goes. You got two shirts the other day. Oh, no, Strong so Tom, what's up, buddy? Happy tie dye Sunday. Thank you for being a member, dude, for 33 months. Appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, we're getting some spits and sprinkles. What is Good morning. Please stand clear of the dead. Yeah, you want to see the new Guardians here? We do too, and they're going to get bought today. I already know it. Just. Send some, some positive vibes, guys, that they still have them. I, I don't know if there's like a, you know, everybody rushing to get them, but uh, Queen, Queen wants them. And I, Your and, backpack is kind of empty. If you want to oh, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, we could fill up my backpack with shirts for me. I mean, ears for you. Now, like, I, guys, I... No, but the ones you got, you need it. I rarely, I, and I mean this, I'm not just making this up, yeah. not, I'm not just, Queen can attest, I never buy myself anything. Like, and it's not, and I'm not like crying about it. I'm just saying like, I just, I don't really feel the need. Do you know what I mean? It's more like, the older I get, the less I need, <laughs> really. Like, I'd rather just have an experience than something tangible. But clothes, you actually need clothes. You know what I mean? You need clothes and you can like get cool, fun clothes, so. Navy guy, what's up, dude? Oh, and they were sold out. Oh man. Yeah, Christine, uh, Christina L. You know what I'm talking about. That's what I mean, and I, and I mean it. Like I don't need things, man. I, I'd rather like have a great experience. Uh, go out to dinner. Uh, go somewhere and, and just enjoy an experience with you know Queen, my kids, or, or whoever you know is with me at the time. Or at least not right now. Yeah. yeah. See, I told you. Yeah. There we go. It's funny, guys. Like the little tape things actually turn on. I did not see the little bugs. I was too busy looking at this amazing root. But look, they got little bugs. Oh, that's so cute. They got another one back there too. I didn't even notice those. Nancy Drake. Good morning, Seb. What's up? That is so cool. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll head into uh, the Guardian store and uh, wish us luck. Maybe, maybe they'll be there. If not, hey, it's not meant to be. You know, I, I look at that kind of look at that kind of thing. Like, because you know what? I'll, <laughs> some of you will know, some of you won't know. But uh, I was I was supposed to get uh, Nickelodeon chairs, literally from Nickelodeon Studios. I have like an obsession. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they had these chairs from Nickelodeon Studios. Like, amazing. And I was going to buy them. And I said, yeah, I want to buy those. And they were like, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll hold them for you until the weekend's over. They've been sitting there for a while. And then Sunday night, I got a call. And they said, uh, somebody bought them. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? But I realized I let it go because I was like, you know what? It just wasn't meant for me, man. You know? Like, somebody, it was meant for somebody that wanted it, I guess, more, you know? And that's okay, and that's that's how you gotta look at it. Some things are not meant for you in this world, and you gotta just accept that, you know. 
Uh, yeah, they're not waiting. Good. All right, let's see. Let's see if magic can happen. It's not looking good. Queen, Queen's, Queen's getting sad over there. <laughs> oh man. I still love you. <laughs> what you may not know is I am a personal friend of Peter Quill. Are you sure? Are you sure? You Hold him, on. Hold on. Don't mention it. Let's just come he over a little bit more. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Wah, wah, wah. But Queen's gonna look it up so we can show you the ears. Yeah, they'll they'll be back. Billy Bob, welcome in, and dude, I feel you on the mission oh, mission space. Oh, of course, they're on eBay for a million dollars, probably. But I, I, I saw a thing. Speaking of mission space, I saw a meme the other day, and it said, uh, "You're bringing your, you're bringing your worst enemy to Disney. Which ride do you bring them on?" And it's like orange mission space. <laughs> Which is hilarious, because, yeah, that, that thing's rugged, man. That is rugged. Well, should we get out of the store while we look, or? Oh, that's true. My establishment Might as well show you guys the cool things in here. From trinkets to treasures, please, no rules. Darren Frost, what's up, Frosty? Brett and Jamie, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, guys, to boot that like button when you come on in and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. So awesome. So awesome. And I gotta see how much these actually are. Do they have a price? What's the price? Oh! So, guys, I just wanna let you guys know these are $99 here. If you go over to the Lakeland Antique Mall in the Vault Collectibles area, they have these for $20. You heard me right, $20. They don't have the stones, but they're $20 for that, so just keep that in mind. Given the distance between our worlds, response times may be longer than usual. Cheryl Louise, uh, Louisa Moody, good morning. That's weird, it doesn't show a whole picture. Oh, okay. But yeah, so these are what the ears are. They're awesome. I love they got a little tape deck in there. Super cute. And then, like, look. Yeah, they're look. amazing. They're amazing. I'm gonna look again for a Queen's gonna look again. Cause she, I feel like she, she knows it must be like a hidden corner or something. There you are, Perry. Good morning. Nice, dude. Get the coffee. I gotta get some coffee going too. Miss me, out, me, out, Wendy, darling, Casey Bloom. Good morning, guys. Shirley Brewer, Christine Dubois. Hello. No, Queen. Queen did not find them. It's all right. It's all right. We move on, right? And it's just it's just spitting little little rain. It's gonna I can see blue sky up there. It's a blue sky. Is it south right here? Oh yeah. <laughs> Mr. Blue Sky, right? It is. Ah, Frosty, there you go, man. The extra bucket of coffee. Extra large bucket of coffee. You know? I think we need to walk around. I think I think we gotta get a coffee. To get us, I don't want. Yeah, we're over here. Why not? Right, live a little. Well, thank you, brother Gabe. Yes, keep your eye, guys. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, because they are they I are want awesome. Those because it's the cassette tape. Yeah, it's it. Well, and it's Guardians. We love Guardians. You love the ride, so it's like. It is meant to be, and you will get them. I will. I will do whatever I have to do to get those for you. <laughs> anything. Well, maybe not anything, but. Oh, 
Holy Joffrey's line. What is going on? I think people got the memo about Joffrey's and how awesome it is because there's always a line over here now. There didn't used to be. Like, even during festivals. But let's see. Johnny Sackley, you tried a latte here for the festival. No. We only tried the tea. We tried the tea. And guys, you know I would never lie to you. I would never say something's good if I don't think it's good. Monorail! <laughs> Sorry, last time. No, it's not. Last, last it's time. not, but I'm going to say it's the last time. But, um... Uh, yeah, we tried that that iced tea, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm not even I'm not even like boosting it up for any reason other than the fact it was so good. It really was, and uh, so it's iced tea mixed with like a lemonade. But what what was the thing that really put it over the edge in flavor for me was they added tangerine syrup, which was so good. It it like kind of took away a little bit of that acidity with the lemonade. Because that's one reason why I'm not a big fan of lemonade, is all the acidity in it, you know? This is a big line. <laughs> come back? Yeah, we're going to come back. Because this is a big line, and it doesn't seem to be moving too rapidly. Yeah, we'll come back. Or we'll just get another coffee in a different location. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to do a Joffrey's ranking vlog. We're going to try all the Joffrey's uh, flower and garden specialty drinks. And, and let you guys know, you know, from one to five, what we thought of the drinks. Oh, uh, look at Donald. I love that he's got a little bee on his, on his forehead. Because right now, you know he's freaking out. And the reason why he's freaking out is both of his hands have something in them. <laughs> so, he can't, so he can't swat the bee away. Verna Marie, good morning. Gen XK. I want to go up from Space, Mom. I mean, uh, Mission Space? Okay. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> I think it needs to go. It will. I think it's just it's getting out its last little little spits of rain, but it actually is kind of it's warm enough, so it's not a cold rain. After all this new Chopieris like that one, like he looks so little. He does. I know he looks little, and I, I, I I'm gonna be honest, he looks run down. Like, and I know they did it again, but I don't know why. He just looks very Scholars faded almost. Plants they use for him? Maybe, yeah, because he, he doesn't pop. He, he doesn't pop like the other ones. He needs some purple on him. Like yes, yes, I, yeah, I agree. But I mean, at least the flowers look good. Look at that. Boop. You know what? Let's have a buzz 10%. How about that? Ah, beautiful Zen, beautiful Zen. And Andy Ladd, it was nice to meet you as well. Thank you for tuning in from Liverpool. Oh, wow. Mr. Furious X, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. Daniel Day, hello. Uh, yeah, they are real, my friend. They are real. And Pickles, what's up, buddy? Good morning. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Yeah, and <laughs> so, I, so I'm just laughing because I'm like, I don't know why they refurbished it. They really just need to replace this ride. Like, I I'm, I don't know what, <laughs> she's like looking at me funny, but seriously, can anybody in chat, honestly, and maybe there is, and, I, and I'm not knocking anybody that feels this way, but like, whose favorite ride is this? Like, because it's, the green one's kind of fun, but I don't know. But it does look nice. You know what they should put in here? They should do like a, like a laser show. You know what I mean? Get some like cool Disney music, do like a laser show, right? What are you reading here? The Perseverance Rover. Oh, that's cool. Nikki Moody, you love this ride? Wow, we got some people that love it. Okay. Hey, 
I like I said, I wasn't like knocking it. Love it, boop the like. Yeah, if you love it, boop the like. No, I'm not knocking it. I just there's not too many people that I have like come across that have been like, oh, Mission Space is like the jam, you know. A lot of people say the same thing. They went on it. It messed them up. They felt horrible, and that was the last time they ever went on it, you know. But hey, you know what? I, I, I've been, uh, what do you call it? I've been proven wrong. And I'm okay with that. Mark Keppel, what's up, dude? 220 days. Awesome. But you're not counting, right? Kaylee Main, good morning. Greg J. When you're in your 20s, yeah. I think the older you get, yeah, it gets a little more intense, you know. Richie L., right on, right on. Yeah, that. Yeah, flower and garden. I want to show some more topiaries and and just enjoy the beauty of this festival. Jeff Sewell, what's up, man? From the Smoky Mountains. Thanks for tuning in. Leanne Birchall from Australia. Hello, Manta Ray Travels. Thank you all for joining. Don't forget, we're gonna have to, we're gonna repeat it all day, but don't forget to boop that like, hit that subscribe, join us. Uh, you know, more adventures. We go live every Sunday morning. Uh, and once in a while, usually maybe once a month, we'll go live, like, during the evening for, like, some fireworks and stuff. But during the time that we're not live streaming, we also make videos, vlogs, up on the channel that we would love for you guys to check out. We try to make them as, as fun as possible. And, uh, yeah, we, we feel like we do a, a pretty good job on them. You know, we, we put our heart into it, so... The prehistoric, yeah, this is something that you'd walk by if you didn't like yeah, actually. Yeah, I didn't know this was here until last year. Yeah. This is kind of cool though, like historic plants. I love the Jurassic Park area here. <laughs> oh, they chain it. They used to have like that. It looks like Jurassic Park pretty much. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, you know. no, it's another Oh, is it? Yeah. But it is cool, like they got a Venus flytrap, a lot of like prehistoric uh, plants, which is pretty darn cool. I know, like, you can't tell me, guys. Obviously, I know this is like a typical. A, a typical look, but it just, as soon as it you see like it, logo. looks like the logo to Jurassic Park. But it's so cool to think like prehistoric, like these plants have been growing in the prehistoric era. Like the crocodile fern. Christina G, good morning. I hope you had a great time. Hope you had a great trip. Made a lot of memories, took a lot of photos, video. We will be also doing a 10% of Flower and Garden. Yes, we're going to... Yes, a new one. We're going to make a new 10 for Zen video. We're very excited because they do have some new uh, topiaries and stuff. And if you are not familiar with our Zen videos, it's uh, places around the park um, that we just find that we find to be pretty. We take, our, you know, we take the video and then we pair it with some nice music for like, you know, a nice background. If you want to relax and just have it during dinner or while you're working, you know, working on the computer or something. And also, pets, specifically dogs, love our Zen videos. And, uh, and we have those up on the channel if you guys ever want to watch them. Uh, we have them up. We did a Christmas one, a Halloween one, um, ones in all the other parks and stuff like that. So check it out if you get a chance. So everything opens at 11. Yes, all, yeah, all the, all the, the food booths are going to open at 11. And this right here is the best smelling booth here. I don't know how the, if the food's great. Oh my gosh. See, I was talking about those barrels the other day, right? That had flowers in them in our, in our video. And uh, I love, they do this up in Maine a lot. I'm sure they probably do it everywhere. But uh, they'll take like, you know, for example, they're taking a canoe here, filling it with flowers. I've seen, you know, rowboats. Uh, I've seen, honestly, I've seen toilets. I've seen tubs. I've seen tires and uh i just think it's 
It's just a cool look. I don't know why I like it so much. I just think it's awesome. Look how pretty that is. Good morning, guys. Welcome for the new Sorry. <laughs> viewers? viewers? Viewers. Yeah, welcome in new viewers. DNL on the DL, what's going on? Good morning, Sean Grice, Evac, hello. Uh, yes, yes, we can if we go by the store for sure. Oh, but I'm telling you. I love corn. I love corn and it's gold. But seriously, every time I walk by here, I just, all I smell. Is just amazingness. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It just, it, it feels like it's like cookout time. You know what I mean? Amazing. Amazing smells. So, grilled street corn on the cob. I love street corn. Veal loin, strawberry rhubarb upside down cake, which I don't really want to Your try. Your mom has... So, I remember she made me try that your brother bought her some. Yeah, strawberry rhubarb. It was, it was good. I like it. it. But not that much, though. No, not that much because if you know anything about strawberry pie. rhubarb pie, especially, there's a lot of sugar. Like, Maybe a lot of sugar because rhubarb, uh, my, my mom grew, we had it growing, all growing up uh, outside of our house. Uh, it's just sour. It's just yeah. a sour flavor. So, they have to put a lot of sugar. so you're gonna put a lot of sugar to like balance that out, you know. I, I'm not a huge fan. You're the barber, 24 months. Two years, brother. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate that, dude. Zippity doo dog. Good morning, Frankie C. What's up? My favorite is one from Animal Kingdom, dude. That thing is bussin', as the kids say. Gen X K. Gen X K. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And yes, we are gonna get something to eat uh, once the once the booths open. Charles Phillips, welcome in. Five days to your first Disney vacation, dude. You your life is gonna change. The like, first one is first the first trip, dude. Your life will change. I'm not kidding, man. It, it changed my life forever. That's why I'm here doing what we're doing today. Specifically, is how much I love it and the smell. Oh my gosh. Seriously. This is artistry to me. It's always mind blowing how much work. Like, but, but this is the thing though. Like, this, this is a lot of hard work, right? But look at the payoff. Look at the payoff. It's just insane. They made, they made a butterfly over here. How cool is that? <laughs> JM Pop, that's right. Bevy's in monorails. I, I, I was hoping one was going to be coming, but. Oh my gosh. Everything smells so Peter good. Jackson, good morning. Happy tie dye Sunday, man. You got the songbird meadow over here. Oh, oh yeah, I got some birds. Yeah, well, they like it because there's a bunch of food. There's a bunch of food. Oh my goodness. Disney fans, hello. Oh, you guys are gonna have a great time. This festival, it's just, it, I'm so happy every time. And we end up coming to this festival the most out of any of them. We just do. So I'm like, hey, we're gonna go back. <laughs> Twice. Twice. We made it for the first day and then like two days before the last day. And this is like the big photo spot. You got Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and then you got uh, Spaceship Earth right behind it. Yeah, oh yeah, we can do whatever you want. I just figured let's go over here and uh, show the beautiful sight. We're gonna have another 10 for Zen because we have to. Oh yeah. So this is, no, no, you go ahead. Peanut butter gelatin, peanut butter gelatin. Where you at, where you at? 
Peanut butter jelly. 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 Peanut Strawberries. So yes, they are growing strawberries over in these buckets. I wonder if they're going to make strawberry jam. Okay, yeah. Oh, look at this. I love it. Octavia Melody, good morning. No way, are they real? Oh yeah. What? No, those can't be real, can they? They, they, they look fake. They look fake. They are... You, you just imagine. Just they're pretend. Real. Use your imagination like Figment says. No, but, I, but, they're, but they're real... They're, they're real they're, pretty. They're, they're, they're real pretty. <laughs> okay. They're real pretty looking though, at least. At least they look nice. They look pretty. Alright, but the strawberries, yes, yeah, they're real. And, just so you guys know, that peanuts are actually not nuts. They're legumes. Wait, so a peanut is technically a vegetable? Really? You learn something new every day, apparently. All right, let's go over to uh, this awesome area. It's like a scentsy area where you can smell some beautiful smells and it's just gorgeous over here and you get a great view of more of the uh, flower bedding. Yeah. Oh, Cara Louisa Moody, thank you so much for becoming a member on Patreon. Thank you. And Brianne Anderson for upgrading your membership on Patreon. Thank you so much. That, that means so much to us. It really does, and uh, in case any of you guys, we you know want to join, links are in the description uh, to help us along our journey here on YouTube. Uh, if not, that's okay too. But we just want to let you know, it is something that we do, and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna have a ten for Zen with this beautiful, beautiful shot right here. So spam some Zen emojis or any emoji, or just kick back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And I saw that Mike was asking. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't because all men joys got nuts. Mounds don't. Uh, and Queen looked over here. Look at the pineapples. It is awesome. See, I want to. I want to grow pineapples at some point in my life. Oh, that, oh, oh, yeah. So, right here, Scentsy. Oh, smells so good. So this is actually brilliant marketing from Scentsy. And just so you guys know, no, we don't work for Scentsy. But I want to tell you right now, this is one of. The, no, it is the best like smelling thing instead of candles. This is the way to go. Actually, work for Scentsy. Uh, how long ago? Oh. Three years ago? Yeah, that was few. Yeah, we got some stuff from there. She got a package yeah, of... Uh, got, like this star package with different flavors. Well, flavors, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I say flavors all the time. We're still using it. Yep. And we have like a couple of those... Um, the, warmers. the warmers. The warmers. We but if you guys want a great investment, I'm serious, yeah. guys. And I, we don't work for Sensi. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not just trying to sell Sensi. Scentsy is amazing. Like, seriously. I was blown away. I thought it was just like, kind of gimmicky. And I thought it'd be like the smell would be heavy. It's so light and like they do it perfectly. Oh, I gotta smell this grapefruit. Oh, I don't really like grapefruit, like the actual fruit, but that's not, smell that. That smells insanely good. <laughs> well, it just comes <laughs> As Queen takes a gigantic sniff. Yeah. Sniff, <laughs> sniff softly. <laughs> Amy DeBoard, welcome <laughs> in. Zanito, what's up? Welcome in. Oh, so let's look at their pineapples. Wow. 
Instead of strawberry fields forever, you get the mint fields forever. Oh, oh I smell it. You guys, you guys take, take a smell. It's so minty. Right? Come here, Nora. Awesome. Yeah, go back like that. You want to do that? We can do whatever you want. Yeah, so we don't miss them. I like it. And this is called the Blossoms of Fragrance by Scentsy. Mountain Warriors, what's up, dude? But seriously, though, like, uh, yesterday I got home from work, and Queen had actually put a Scentsy thing in, you know, an hour earlier. I walked into the house, and it was just, like, a glorious smell. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, it just renews the space, you know? Well, what a backdrop for a photo, right? You got the spaceship Earth, gorgeous, Mickey, guys. and Minnie. Gorgeous. Oh, there's another one. Another what? A little bee. Oh, a little bee. Oh, wait, you guys can't see that. You're going to cheat. No, I'm just kidding. You guys will still have to do the legwork, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, Queen looked over and said, look, Minnie's drooling. <laughs> She's hungry. <laughs> oh my god. You know why she's drooling? <laughs> that is hilarious. It's because Chip and Dale have like sausage and corn and stuff. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. I did, see, I would have missed that. I 100% would have missed that. <laughs> you can't, can't tell me that's not funny. Oh, I didn't want to buy the flowers. Yes. And smell, oh gosh. And, and every time I smell like, uh, come here and smell, it, it almost has a smell of like uh, raspberries to me. I don't know why. I, I, I'm not sure why, but I, I, I get a little hint of like a raspberry. Oh, look at the ducks. Ducks might be so happy. They're like. Oh, they're in heaven. They're in ducky heaven. We just want to like really take time to like show you guys the beauty that's here at Epcot during this festival, man. It is just amazing. It just makes me happy. Like, how does this not make you happy? You know, like vibrant colors, beautiful smells. Nanny Pooh Bear, welcome in. Disney Pal from Boston. Hello, guy. James Sis, and I know that guy. I met him once. Amy. Hello. Amy DeBoard. Hello. So just uh, baby Yoda Swango a go go. Oh, they have ears like that. Welcome in, guys. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, Billy. Billy Gunn. That that was this little lady right here who wanted to roll around in the <laughs> in the flowers. But you you know what? Have you learned nothing from Wizard of Oz? I know. You know, Dorothy. She's like rolling around the poppy fields and then falls asleep. Yeah, every, <laughs> everything just goes off the rails. Hey, but she had fun in the moment. <laughs> no, no, she had fun in the moment, that's for sure. Oh, my God, right there. Smell that? It smells like, like there's like a raspberry smell to it. There's a raspberry smell. It, does anybody that's been to the festival, or even this year, can you guys agree with me, or is that, are you like, no, that doesn't smell like raspberries at all? Cause seriously, like I, I smell it and it's flowers, but I smell like a little raspberry. I don't know. Maybe I want them to all be raspberries because I love raspberries. Oh, this air is closed. Oh, oh, yes. We want to show you guys. Literally, we came here on the first day of Flower and Garden to, to go over there. This is all boarded up. You can, like they say in Maine, you can't get there from here. <laughs> <laughs> See? You can't get there from here, man. You just can't. Yeah, but I find that kind of like inconvenient. Like, why would you do that during the festival? You know? I mean, call me wacky. Wacky Drew. So we go to the butterfly garden after. Yo, we are most certainly going to the butterfly garden. We are not not we are not not doing that because I, I realized the other day when we did our video, it is my favorite thing at the festival is the uh, butterfly garden. So this is the booth that we. <laughs> okay. In our uh, vlog. In, in our vlog, so we tried Florida Fresh, but it was over 
in the Odyssey Pavilion over there. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, show you guys again what it is. So they had the grilled lobster tail, Cubanito, Florida shortcake, and the cucumber watermelon slushy. I'm going to tell you this. Get this one. Get this one. Get this one. This. <laughs> Monterey. <laughs> oh, he's letting me know he's around. Um, but unless they like fixed it, I don't know if it's because they were in that location, but we got our uh, lobster tail and it was not warm. It, it was, uh, I was quite disappointed to be honest with you. Because they didn't have a grill there. No, no, and that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking it was because it was over there. I'm going to ask somebody else. Because I'm not going to buy one again until I know. And also, they have a, it comes with a lemon here. Oh, it comes with a, what? Yeah, with a lemon. Oh, okay. We didn't get a lemon to put on ours, but. The lemon with my lobster. The key lime butter, though, was delicious. And nutritious. Butterfly. <laughs> I love yeah. you catch that. Yeah. Butterfly. Uh, just like going to Gorgeous. Just like Denver. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Get the gumbo at the booth in America. Oh, I like that, Johnny. Heck yeah, dude. I'll have to investigate that today. Well, yes, we do. Because it's my favorite booth here at the Flower and Garden. It's the Honey Bistro. I love honey. And what's funny, I didn't love honey as a kid. And Goofy's drooling. Or is he drooling from his chin? I can't tell. No, no, let's see. Now he's dripping from his chin. Sarah Richardson, welcome in. Thank you for being a member for 12 months. Today is your mom's birthday. What is your mom's name, Sarah? Let me know. So we can wish her a happy birthday. Hold on. Uh, yeah, dude, John the Barber, dude. I don't know. I, I thought I thought they were gonna open it all up all at once and be like, kapow, here you go, you know. Cheryl, we want to wish you the happiest birthday ever. Cha cha cha. Cha 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 cha. <laughs> oh, oh, cha cha cha. <laughs> so here's the Honey Bee Show. Oh yeah, we we really didn't. Let's check. Let's investigate. But it really is. If you like honey, like Billy Glenn, right? I know. I didn't care for it as a kid. I just wanted sugar. I think. Uh, but now waffles. there's something amazing. I guess was very popular. Chicken and waffles is great. That now is this amazing. is new. I, I don't remember I that. I love cauliflower. I do too. Honey glazed cauliflower. It's only five bucks. And this, I'm pretty positive we had that last year, and it was so good. Oh, yes, remember that? Yes, yes, we did. What's Liquid nitro honey mascarpone cheesecake. <gasps> what is this? It's a honey peach honey. Oh, dude! I gotta try that. Honey peach cobbler freeze, five bucks. Yeah, we're 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 gonna be uh, we're gonna be getting involved right there, but we still have a half an hour before the booths open up. And yes, if you guys are new to the channel, you're enjoying yourself, don't forget to hit that subscribe. Join the Drew Crew, our our community here on YouTube. It's it's a family, and I'm not just saying that. Like we we. We are here for each other, you know? The community is very strong and uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. No, you're good. Uh, very strong uh, and, and, and we're here to, to bring positive, you know, energy, some light into, into the day, into the world, wh wherever you guys are watching, you know, watching from. We just, we want you guys to, to feel a little uplifted, smile, just, just feel happy, man. Um, and it just goes back to the fact that we know life can be tough with all the situations you have in life and we don't want you guys to have to even worry about any of that stuff while you're here on the channel with us. You know, take, take, a, take a breath, <clears throat> take care of yourself mentally, you know, and just have fun. 
and the Northern Bloom. I feel like Canada never usually lets me down as far as, uh, you know, savory items. Uh, not always with their desserts, but this looks, yeah, see, they're not going to let me down. Seared scallops, are you kidding me? Beef tenderloin tips, both of these are fantastic. Uh, this I have not tried, a chocolate maple whiskey cake. Looks good though. I don't know how the whiskey will taste because I don't really care for the taste of whiskey, but sometimes they, they mix it in there. The flavors pretty much go away. Yeah, no, no, I just meant like the flavor. Sometimes I don't like, excuse me, that whiskey flavor. You gotta show me. Oh, yeah. Rated. Yeah, the hidden gem. The hidden gem in general of pavilions, this is definitely a hidden gem. And during the flower and garden, it's even more hidden. Make sure you get your tukuses over here to the Canadian Pavilion to check out this amazing, this amazing space. Like, I'm, I'm gonna try to get like theatrical with it, okay? So bear with me. So I want the big wow factor, you know? Most of you have seen it, ready? We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get all theatrical. Let, let me yeah, make it. let me make it bigger. Boop, ready? Doosh. I mean, come on, man. Come on. How beautiful is this area? And they've got the uh, the geese topiaries. Yeah. Tink Disney. Good morning. Well, yes. It is just gorgeous, this area back here. Ah, you like what I did there? Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to get like cinematic for you guys. Jules S, good morning. Justin Tayote, good morning. We got John Tommy. What's up, buddy? Carmen Gloria. Carmen, Buenos welcome in. Buenos dias, Dormilona. <laughs> I love the little house there too. Oh yes, I know. I like this little cottage back there. I wanna I just wanna stay one night in there. Can you imagine that? They rented that out. I would totally stay there. The Troy uh the dwarf, welcome in. You're making me jealous. You get to go to Disney whenever you want. Well, I'll tell you, buddy. Pe <clears throat> People have said, Drew, you're so lucky to be able to do that. But I'll tell you right now, I don't believe in luck. I've realized this, I don't believe in luck. For us to get down here to be able to do what we had to do, I'm telling you, it was a lot of work, moving and, and uprooting from where we live and, uh, and coming down here without even knowing what we're gonna do for a job. It was just like, let's go, we'll figure it out, man. You know, so I, I always tell everybody, because they, they, in their minds they think it's impossible to move, you know, it's such a big ordeal. And I'm like, listen, man, if you just keep your focus, you know, and you just go for it, you can be you could be standing here like we are, you know, and, and it's we we are very blessed. I will tell you that. I don't know how far you want to go back here because I know can Canada doesn't like uh, doesn't like streaming. <clears throat> I kind of want to show you guys the waterfall. Okay, here you go. Do you guys want to see the waterfall? Because I really want to show you, but you got to promise if it you know lags and stuff, you're gonna come back. Because we don't, you know, we want to spend the day with you guys. Oh, thank you, Carmen. <coughs> Excuse me. Corndog Gemma. What's up, buddy? Genevieve Gilbert It's all about it. Okay. Well, we're going we're gonna to try. We're, uh, it's notoriously, or notorious for, Maybe for cutting out, but I don't know. We're, we're going to try it. Let us know. If it starts lagging, please just let us know. Keep them crossed, keep them crossed. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Gosh, this is gorgeous. Seriously. How beautiful is that? We good? You feel all right? Oh, I'm so happy. Seriously, that is gorgeous. 
But Gilmore, what's up, dude? All right, here. We got to do a zen here. So I'm just going to... I'm gonna stop talking and let's just enjoy this beautiful waterfall. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And Johnny, you're right, dude. It don't get no better than that. No, sir. <laughs> Jersey Johnny, what's up, dude? Gosh, this is gorgeous. And this is why, like, I don't understand why this pavilion does not get more love. I'm not saying it doesn't get love, but I, I feel like it should have more love. Because this is ridiculously beautiful. Oh, it's picture time. Queen, it's picture time. Guys, we're going to take a picture and we're going to post it on Instagram later. So if you're not following Drew in the moment on Instagram, I don't know what you're waiting for. It could be the coolest thing you've done today. It might not be, but you won't know until you do it. Until you drew it. Until you drew it. I got it bigger. Get closer to me. Okay. Right there. Oh my god, look like you are like. Yeah! Is that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. Oh yeah. That is gorgeous. And also, guys, uh, don't forget, over on Facebook, we're getting a lot of uh, good reaction, a lot of people uh, enjoying stuff we're posting over there. Uh, make sure you join our Facebook group. And if any of the mods, could uh, post a link to that for the page, for, for the page specifically. The page Might be in the description, but yeah, no, we, we're we're almost at 3,000 followers over on Facebook. We're at like 2,984, I think, the last time I checked. Uh, so that would be amazing to hit 3,000 followers on Facebook today. J Rock, what's up, dude? I want to make sure. Oh, Gwen Guenevieve, Guenevieve. I've actually been, uh, I've actually been to Quebec twice. Once with uh, a couple buddies, and then uh, once with with Queen V. Remember we went to Quebec? Yeah. Gorgeous. If you guys have never been to Quebec, what a beautiful place, man. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of architecture. I really am. All right, hold on. That's the wrong page. Oh, wrong page. Maybe I have the one that is Yeah, sorry guys. It, it gets it gets super confusing. Um, so hold on one sec. It gets super confusing because <clears throat> we have like <laughs> two Facebook things for Drew in the moment, but one of them is a page, I guess. Um, but back to what I was saying. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of like architecture. I I marvel at it. I really do. And Quebec has some gorgeous uh, architecture. And I think it all stems back to my brother who's 10 years older than me. He actually was... Uh, studying to be an architect. Uh, so I think I got a little bit of the buzz from him, you know. Joe Ellen Goulet, good morning. Your husband is originally from Quebec. Quebec's awesome, like for real. Like, we had a great time. <coughs> I'm sorry? Okay, Queen V just put up the Facebook page. Make sure you go uh, follow us over there. We've been, like I said, we've been putting like little videos and, and pictures and it seems to be getting uh people Every, everybody posted that old <clears throat> well no but thank you mods thank okay. you mods i know it, it thank you, thank you. queen like queen had to explain it to me because for some reason i don't know why we have two i don't know how to, we can't get rid of the other well, one right because you have to have a profile account a profile account have a page. Mm. to have a page gotcha so the profile account is uh is uh is yours but mm -hmm. The page is the one that we are very active on. Yes, that's the one. You, you'll see. You'll see. It, and it'll be the... Um, my, Our logo. The Drew in the Moment logo. Uh, the other one that is not the one uh, that we've been really active on has me and Queen, a picture of me and Queen in it. So just so you guys can, um, you know, separate the two. Down, down, down. 
Oh, oh yeah. Queen wants to go into Northwest Mercantile. So let's, let's check it out. And I'll tell you, can, uh, Canada had some underrated ears. They had hockey pucks. Oh, hey, good morning. Oh, they came out. I thought they were Max. You thought they were Max, but they're not. Oh, they have the, the building. Oh, there. that's cool. Ooh, look at that. All right, you Canadians know what's up with handles. <laughs> look at that. That is a great mug. I love the shape of these mugs. Do you like this kind of mug? I do, yeah. I really like it. That thing is awesome. What is it? 20 bucks. Totally worth 20 bucks. I actually saw that. Oh. That tie-dye. Oh, see? Oh, that is an awesome shirt. What? Look at this. And it's tie-dye. <laughs> Johnny, tell me about it, dude. I know. Look at that. He's doing a little fly fishing. And we've got sad music going, but I'm not going to give you guys a sad <laughs> story today, no. The Bruins. I'm not doing good. Like, yeah, the Bruins aren't Thank doing you for us to 3K on Facebook. You guys are the best. Just so you know. Just so you know. I don't care what Billy Glenn says about you guys. You guys are the best. <laughs> Great. Look at this. And, and you know what's funny? Like I, I see Canada stuff, right? This pavilion. I see this. And I'm not kidding. It just feels like I'm home back in Maine. Like, because I'm telling you, like, yeah, Maine, Maine, is, Maine is pretty darn close to like Canada. To like being Canada. I see this and you know what it remind me? Uncle Joey. Uh huh. Uh huh. He used to wear, oh, like, that's right. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yes. Oh like my it. god. And I have to, I have to ask you guys something when we get out of here about uh, Uncle Joey from Full House. Something I just learned and my mind got blown. And maybe some of you know, but maybe some of you don't, because I did not know, <laughs> and it blew my mind. Oh, this is a great, this is a great backpack. It's like a, it's like the army duffel kind of thing going on here. Shaki, uh, Shaik, welcome in, or Shaquille, Shaquille, sorry, welcome in. Oh, dude, my onesie. Yeah, <laughs> the little, the little bum thing. That's funny. That's so cute. But you know what though? But like like in all honesty, I'm being serious though. Like that would hurt though. Like when you're sitting down, like the buttons. Yes. You know what I mean? See you know what I'm saying, right? That kinda hurts sitting on the buttons. Have a good day. Okay. Now now I need to talk to you guys because story time with me. I'm sorry, but we I'm putting it right here. I, I need to have story time with you guys. Oh yeah, we didn't bring any water. Like silly people. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so was it on the radio? Yes. Yes. It was on the radio yesterday. This is what I heard. Tell me if you know about this. Because my seriously, my mind was blown. So Joey, Dave Coulier from uh, Full House, did you guys know that he was dating Alanis Morissette? And if you don't know who Alanis Morissette is, she's a musician back in the nineties. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? She's so, you know, yeah, she's singing that stuff, right? So she produced Jagged Pill, which was one of like the most iconic 90s albums of all, you know, of all of, all of the 90s. What I didn't know was this. So he dated her before she made that. And he broke up with Alanis Morissette. And he even said, there are parts in the song. In, in some of the songs yeah, frozen, yeah. that have to do with him. him and her relationship, stuff they've talked about. So he literally goes, I think I really hurt this woman. And and, and it like fueled her, at least for a couple songs, uh, to kind of like sing about their relationship and how he how he dogged her. You know what, what I gotta say about this, cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. That's Thank what you, I said. Josh. That was good. Yeah, that was Josh. good. That was good. No, I gotta give it to Josh. Oh, Josh, yeah, that's, nice dude. That's nice. <laughs> nice man. But yeah, blew my mind. Blew my mind. I was like, I, I didn't know they dated, and then I didn't that's know so that about weird, the album. Actually. It is very weird to me. But yeah. after I'm like, okay, well, they're Canadian, and they're mind. probably seeing each other a lot, you know. So, but uh, James E, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. Have a hockey, why do hockey players like baking cakes? They're great at icing. <laughs> <laughs> Bloom, cha. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. 
Okay, <laughs> see, Eric, you didn't know. Whatever, whatever, it blew whatever, my mind. The blew my mind. I know. I might not give you, you know, Disney information, but I'll give you this other random information. <laughs> now we've been trying to get better. We've been honest. We're trying to let you guys know, like, about things that we feel like you need to know. So. All right. Thanks for story time with Drew. Let's keep on going. Cause I think uh, I think we might need to get a coffee. Coffee time. Coffee time. See, it just doesn't work as well unless it's monorail, you know? Ooh! Keith Abbott, what's up, buddy? Thank and we you, got... Carmen Gloria. She likes my ears. Yes. My flower and garden ears. The beautiful ears. I love those, too. Ian Hart, welcome in, dude. Good morning. Jake Jake, what's up, buddy? Anthony Makudo. Yeah, no, me too, man. I love I love the Canadian pavilion. So nice. They have the tea here. They have the tea here, so I don't know. Probably the Guardians one where everybody is. Can anybody confirm that? Um, the the latte? Is that over? Yeah, what is the latte? Because America didn't have tea there. No, America didn't have they had like a berry something. It could be over. Oh, are we going to go back? Okay. We can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's your day. But yes, thank you guys for joining us. Maybe go the other way now. But honestly, okay, here, it's a great point you bring up, and this is always the topic of conversation. It's always fun to see how people feel. When you come to Epcot, do you go right towards Canada or do you go left towards Mexico? Because for me, I always want to go left. I always want to go to Mexico. I want to end in Canada. Don't know why. I, I don't know why. I have no idea. It's just, that's, I just feel like I got to go left. So do you go left or do you go right? Surf Bomb 31. Surf Bomb, what's oh up, buddy? Thank you so much. It's a long time. It really is. Thank you so much for your support, dude. Seriously, man, for, for two and a half years. Uh, Really appreciate it, man. And uh, we're just gonna keep bringing as best content as we can, and uh, and just keep building this community, you know. <clears throat> empanadas, oh yeah, dude, love those empanadas. With a spicy corn. The spicy corn, yep. Great. Now I want an empanada. Thanks, man. <laughs> well, we're gonna we gotta get something, but I. What time is it right now? Ten fifty. We could go wait in the Honey Bistro. Do we want to get something yeah. from the Honey Bistro right now? All right, guys. If you guys don't mind waiting, let's uh, let's go check out the Honey Bistro. I, I think it, well, yeah, it's almost time. So it's almost time. The, what, the well, tables are empty. Yes. Do you want me to lock down a table, or how do you want to do this? No, I think we've got enough tables. Okay. But yeah, let's get in line, because I can already see people getting in line for the Honey Bistro. Billy, thank you, dude, for your support, man. Seriously, you know? And understand, you know, like, you guys uh, and your support and stuff um, with us on the channel, like, it's a, it, like, we take it to heart, man. It's like, like a personal thing, like, that you believe in us to, to do what we do, you know? Um, and it's very rewarding, and it makes us very happy that you guys do believe in us, because we're trying very hard to create, you know, as best content as we can for you guys. So we're just getting the chicken waffles here. You want to get chicken yeah, waffles, sure? Oh, well, what but about the, the peach drink? Oh, and the drink. And the drink. Yes. All right, I like it. Okay, I can. You want it? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go and hang I'll out. I'll the, the coffee. Find out oh, okay. Coffee yeah, 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 yeah. I will. No, no, it's okay. Thank you. All right, let's go. Let's go take an adventure. Oh, you did? Okay. All right, I'll meet you back over there. All right, you guys are rolling solo with Drew. Let's go see what the uh, what the bevy is over at the Joffrey's over near Mexico. Yeah, Denzanito, dude, I got I got to get that drink, man. No, no, don't care. Excuse me, um, because they have like, you know, for the food and wine. My favorite drink from food and wine is the apple pie, uh, apple pie slushy drink. It is so darn good and uh, I found another one that rivals it it's right up there in uh, 
over at the, well actually it's not there now, it's at the Florida Fresh, is that watermelon cucumber slushy. Trust me, it is refreshing and delicious. It's amazing. And it's honestly, it's like 75% watermelon and like 25% <clears throat> cucumber. So it's got just like a little hint of it. Uh, so it's really, really good. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, what? Uh, well, Keith Abbott, dude, thank you for 34 months, man. Really appreciate that, brother. Dude, you're going away from the galettes in Paris. It's time for breakfast and a Dole Whip. <laughs> oh, man, I know, dude, I know. Oh, so how did the Dole Whips turn out, Keith? I don't even know if I ever uh, ever asked you or if, or if I asked you and I didn't see the answer. Oh, there you are, Perry. So I was just talking to Queen about that this morning. I'm like, how come Flower and Garden doesn't have like a topiary uh, popcorn bucket? You know what I mean? Like, how about like a Groot topiary popcorn bucket or like one of the new topiaries that are here at the festival? I think that'd be awesome. Do the Dole Whips are the Dole Whips. I mean, Amazon got the real deal. Okay. Right on, dude. Nice. Veteran 77 checking in from Minnesota. Thanks for sharing some magic while I organize my closet. You are so welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having fun. And if you are, don't forget to boop the like. Hit the subscribe if you are, in fact, enjoying the stream today. And I think, I think I found the latte. Oh, yes, I did. And we're going to get it. We're going to get the latte. So we'll go eat and drink that other thing and then... The latte will be all set to go. Yep, that's what we're doing. Right, dude? I know. And I'm like, I don't know why they're not doing that. Like, why? That that would that just sells itself, man. They, they would run out. Everybody would want that. Billy Glenn, thank you for gifting memberships, dude. Super generous, man. Guys, hearts in the chat for Mr. Billy Glenn. Much love, brother, for real. I'll tell you what, they got some good looking. Uh, Good looking chocolate crossing. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, can I get that uh, the iceberry chai latte? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. They had a hot chocolate with the whiskey and bacon. Can you make it double cheese? Make it triple cheese. Sorry about that. Oh, that's fine. fine. And then, did you get the cookie you already? Yeah, you already did. Okay, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Uh, just uh, one of the iceberry chai lattes. And iceberry chai lattes. Mm -hmm. You want a single shot or a double shot? Oh, no, no, no alcohol. Just the, the berry. Oh, the berry the chai. Berry. Yeah, yeah, berry. <laughs> berry chai latte, please. Uh, and can I also get a bottle of water? Of course. Thank you so much. And I got the angel pass. Of course. Gotta save every nickel, you know what I mean? I know, right? Not even the air is free here. Eight fifty-three. It's gonna be right here. All right. Can I get a water, please? And then I have an ice. Cherry pie. 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 C
are very warm and welcoming because that is that is what we expect on this channel. We expect it from Queen and I and, and for, from everybody to create an environment that everybody, as long as they're coming in to have a good time, you know, for the right reasons, everybody's welcome. We want them to have a good time, we want them to laugh, you know, make some friends along the way. And it's happened. Lot, lots of friendships have happened, which is pretty awesome. Holy cow, Keith, 70 pound bags. Oh my God. You'd be mad. That, that'll probably last you a lifetime, dude. Mike Towels, good morning. Parker C., hello, welcome in. Thank you guys for joining. Don't forget to boop the like, hit the subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah. You want to meet me in there? Yeah. And thank you all for being patient. Berry Latte, thank you so much. It looks pretty darn good. That looks pretty darn good. So we're gonna have to get involved in that. So, in case you're looking for the Berry Latte, right near the Mexican Pavilion. And if you're looking for the uh, the Frost, frosted citrus iced tea that we had tried the other day, which it's so good, uh, over near the Canadian Pavilion. Well, between the Canadian and the UK Pavilion. I cannot wait. Can't wait to eat stuff and drink stuff. That's what it's all about here at the festival. You got to get your eat and drink on, you know. Uh... Does this view ever get old? Because I know it doesn't for me. Especially when the sun starts coming out. Oh, gorgeous. See, blue skies, everybody. Can't rain all the time. All right, let's see where Queen V is. Do, do. Right now. Ba, ba, do, do. She have her stuff yet? Oh, there she is. Hi. Oh yeah, dude. Okay. All right. All right. So Queen said it's gonna be a little while before she heads over. So we're gonna hang out right here and have a little cheers, pros, salute, slancha. Boop. Hold on. Boop. I booped it. No, I didn't boop it. I boop it now. I booped it now. That girl named Lauren, hello, welcome in. Welcome in everybody. In case you're new to the channel, I'm Drew. This is Drew in the moment. And it's tie-dye Sunday, as you can tell. Rocking my tie-dye. All right. <laughs> Coffee talk with Drew, oh yeah. So, we're gonna have ourselves a little cheers prost salute slancha today. And this goes out to all my peeps out there, grinding, Trying to follow their dream, trying to follow their goals, uh, you know, not giving up. Because you can't give up, man. You know, like they say, it's like uh, the only failure is when you stop trying. But I wanted to let you guys know, I heard, I heard uh, an analogy the other day, the other day that blew my mind. I was just like, oh my gosh, man, it, it, it's such a great analogy. So it basically goes along the lines of like, if you got a goal or you got a dream, to put all your effort in one direction, right? Not have it go in all these other areas. You gotta focus, you gotta stay hyper-focused on, on, the, on the goal, man. And uh, he said it's kinda like, if you were gonna chop down a tree with an ax, he said, if you hit that tree a thousand times in a thousand different places, 
the tree is not going to fall down. But if you hit it a thousand times in the same spot, eventually it's going to fall down. And I just thought that was a pretty darn cool analogy, man. Because uh, it is. It's all about, you know, you got to keep striking whatever it is you're trying to do with your life, man. You know, or whatever your goal or dream or desire is. You got to stay, bam, you got to stay on point, man. You got to stay in the direction that... Uh, that you know to go in, you know? Don't 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 be all over the place. You gotta stay hyper focused. Hyper focused. But uh Alright guys, cheers pros salute slancha. <coughs> wow. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. There's like, there's like berry and then there's like nutmeg going on there. There's a bunch of things going on with this drink right now, man. Oh my gosh. Delicious. That's a winner. Oh, straight up. That is a winner. It, and just to kind of give you an idea, it's almost like a dessert latte. That's really what it's got going on. It's like a dessert latte. Mm. That's right, Mr. Furious X. Exactly. The be here means boop that like, boop that subscribe button, man. Okay, wanna do, you know, don't want to miss nobody coming in if I can. <laughs> I hear you, J-Rock. I hear you, man, you know. I mean, with all that stuff, it just takes uh, takes a lot of focus, you know. It takes a lot of uh, a lot of effort. A lot of effort. Because trust me, there's times where I'm like all over the place. I got to catch myself and be like, all right, I got to I gotta get, I got to reel this all in and go in one direction, you know. So, Cargo, what's going on? Tortuga, welcome in. Disneyland turns 70. Wow. Oh, Rob S., you're from, uh, you're from New England. Right on, man. Yeah, I'm from, uh, whoops, sorry. I'm from Maine originally. I'm from a, a smallish town, Milltown, Westbrook, Maine. It's right next to Portland, which is our big, you know, our big city. So we moved down here about six years ago because I, I just had had enough of the cold, you know. Christopher Anna, what's going on, man? Dude, you rock. You rock. Don't ever forget that, you know? And hello, it's me. Good morning. Happy tie-dye Sunday. Mm. Yeah, that thing is, that is something. That is definitely something. Mm. Dagmar loves Disney and Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Welcome in. Ian Hart, New England represent. Uh, post 613 said we used to go rafting in northern Maine. Nice, man. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I uh, I used to camp a few times. I went uh, up to Millinocket, which is uh, it's in the middle of nowhere, man. I mean that 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 is definitely Maine at its finest. And uh, up that way in Millinocket, they have uh, the Appalachian Trail. And me and my dad actually walked on a little bit of the Appalachian Trail, which is really really cool. And, uh, and also drank the best water I've ever had in my life. Water out of a natural spring that came down from the mountains. Amazing. Amazing water. Oh, Old Orchard Beach. Yeah, man. Yes. Well, that's uh, part of our old stomping grounds, right? Yeah. O-O-B, or you call it oob, if you want to be funny about it. All right. All right. So it was very dangerous. I asked the girl for this thing, and yes. then she said, "Okay." And how many shots would you like in it? And I was like, "I don't want one with alcohol." And she goes, "Oh, she thought I said a uh, Bailey's latte." Oh, okay. Make sure. <laughs> oh, you're right. Drink it. Yeah, I did, but I don't want to drink anymore. Ooh, yummy! What is this? <laughs> See, it's the berry latte. So many flavors going on. It's almost like a dessert latte, right? It's like a dessert latte. Mm. I really like it. I, mean, I see. Like I told you guys. Okay, let's save it for dessert. Save it for dessert. 
Yeah. All right, show them. Let's show them what we got. Okay, so. Chicken. See the chicken and waffles. Oh, the waffle yeah. there. You got some honey there. And this is the peach. The yeah, the peach. Pe the peach cobbler drinky poo. Mm, I love drinky poos. Look Me at too. this. Let me see. Good, looks good. Let me see. Let me see. Here is the waffle. It's a little waffle. It is. Oh, just, just uh, check it in, guys. Don't forget to bloom. <laughs> in bloom. All right. It's taste testing time. Boop. Cut it out. Oh, oh. Don't want to do that. All right. So I won't be the most graceful with this, I'm sure. Yeah, you gotta try it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> gotta get that honey in there. And this waffle, this waffle has corn in it. Waffle. It's like a corn waffle. Oh my goodness. Chicken and cornbread, basically. Alright, here, have a bite, everybody. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That waffle, there's a sweetness from the corn in that waffle. That is so good. That's a spicy honey. Is it? It's so good. Oh, that is delicious. Oh, you're right, yes. It's got a little kick to it. Just so you guys keep that in mind if you're planning on trying this. There's a little kick to it. Right. Hey, Rob S. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Yes, thank you to any new subscribers. We appreciate it, guys. It's good. Mmm. Right. Okay. Now, cheers, Pro Salute. <laughs> cheers, Pro Salute Slancha again with the peach cobbler little guy going on here. Oh, this looks delicious. All right, here we go. It is so good. It is so good. I love peach. I love peach. I love gold. Look at that. It's almost like ice cream. Yum, yum. Okay. Oh. Like there. It's blasted with peach flavor. That is so good. Mm. It's a peach cobbler and you get the little crumbles on top. A that is a dessert. Five bucks. No. Can't go wrong with that. We got two desserts. We got two desserts. We're just we're getting crazy right. today. So what we're gonna do now? And I flip the camera. And flip it real. We're gonna good. read the chat. Oh, you guys enjoy. Yeah, and we're gonna eat like. I'm gonna say a pretty for you. <laughs> pretty bird. Some birds there. Yeah, we can chat for a minute, guys. So we can demolish this. We can read it from here. Anthony Makudo, absolutely, dude. People don't realize that, like, in Maine, if you're lucky every summer, like the ocean, you've got about a week or two of water that isn't going to make your toes numb. No yes. joke. No joke. In Maine, yes. If you're going to get lobster, you get it from Maine. Lobster company in... Uh Old Port is really mm -hmm. good. Yes, that's where we like to go. Uh, Disney Wildlife, thank you so much. Shakedown Street, Epcot, yeah. Little Grateful Dead up in here. Oh. Mm. How much was this? Uh, I believe it was like eight bucks, maybe? Seven, eight bucks? And they have a picture of a flatbread with lavender. I got so excited, but it was from last year. Mm. But they have it there. Yeah, last year yeah. that flat rub was good. That was good. Erica Kelty, yes. Absolutely. Question. Would you? It's always the question with food. Mm. Would you get it again or would you not? 100%. Yeah, and honestly, guys, it's not terribly spicy. No. It's, oh, a, no, it's no. a light spice. It's got a little, a little kick. A little kick. Nothing major, though. Like... Gary Burton, welcome in, dude, from Dublin, Ireland. 
What a mm -mm. funny birthday they did again. That's just bad. Uh, George uh, Lai, hello, and thank you so much, man. We try to we we try to make it fun for everybody. Right, and from here, Drew. So we got our coffee and we got our food. Mm -hmm. We got Mexico. We can do we can do it all. No, we're going to Mexico. Maybe see the line for the three caballeros. Mm. Yes, but also we want to show. Um, Coco and Dante, their, their, their oh, new uh, topiary that looks awesome, man. Mm. So good. You want that? No, I'm good. Chem Shep, what's up, dude? Um, how many times did you guys visit the Disney parks while you were living in Maine? So, let me just, let me just say this. We started in 2007, one, one, once. And then we went again in 2009, then in 2013 we went, and then after that we started going two times a year, and then we wanted to go three times a year, and then realized, oh my gosh, we might as well just move down. <laughs> because it was like, we came once, and right after we get there, I start planning the next trip. Mm -hmm. And I know we're not the only ones that do that. Yeah. Mm. And it's not cheap. <laughs> no, no, it definitely. Well, and I can't imagine now. And like, now, the guys, after you know the year two thousand, mm -hmm. if we are still in Maine, we would probably not be able to travel yeah. here like yeah. how we used to because yeah, the no. price is pretty much like double. Mm -hmm. It got very and, and there's four of us so. Eweezy, what's up? Vicky uh, Konachek from Iowa, thank you for tuning in. Shirley Brewer, thank you so much. She said, does it taste... Whoops. I'm going to flip it because we're not eating it. Oh, yeah. Does it taste uh, mild like cornbread or a waffles? I'd like to try copying it. It's funny. It's like... It's like a cornbread. It's a cornbread waffle. But like it, A cornbread... Okay, so the inside of the waffle tastes like a cornbread. Cornbread. Corn. Corn. Bread. bread, but outside it has like the waffle flavor. The waffle flavor and texture. And texture so it's yeah. like kind of like a fusion. Yeah. It's really, really good though. I'm wondering if surely if you end up trying it, maybe just try like getting the cornbread, um, cornbread batter. You know, like make it and, then and just put it in a in a waffle, I mean, a waffle iron. I'm guessing genius, that's what it is. Genius. Uh, Rob S, was it a difficult move uh, in transition? No, for, for me, no. For me, yes. For her, yes. For me, no way, man. Um, I was, the only time I've ever felt like felt like I did in my life, I, there, was, there was no uncertainty, there was no fear, there was no nothing, man. And that was like, I was talking earlier about like, all my chops into the tree were same spot. I for was just me, I was gone, afraid man. for my job because I was in May for like so many years in the same job. But also when I like try something new and move, but yeah, everything worked worked out good in the end. But it wasn't really scary. For I, me. I I took the lead on it because I knew she was all freaking out, and I was like, I had no. I'm telling you right now, guys. I'm not just saying this to look cool. I just I had no fear. I had no nothing. I was like, this is an adventure. This is going to be the most amazing thing ever, and it was, and it is. You know, Alan Buck, thank you so much, man. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I just got off the phone with my third interview with Disney. I might be moving down soon to work for a Disney hotel. Alan, fuck, that's, that's awesome. awesome, dude. Congratulations, man. That is fantastic. So awesome, man. Oh, well, how do you, yeah, you like really that? Good. That is really good. I better know that. We gotta finish that because we can take Disney. Yeah. Uh, Ian Hart, yes we do, yes we do. Uh, I work at a college uh, as a baker. I'm a baker by trade, but uh, we also do YouTube because this is really, like I have a passion for baking, but uh, the YouTube channel and oh, yeah, uh, it it's more important. <laughs> it's a bigger passion. Uh, it's taken on a life of its own and uh, 
we we just we just love that. We love uh, to do this. That's why we want to yeah. like grow a blog, so you know, yes, a membership, so like so they do this full time. Hopefully one day. That's what we want to do you know. for no other reason, but we love to do it. You know what I mean? And and it's like mm. we can do what we love and make and make folks happy, or at least we try to try to make people happy. You know and. Uh, that, it, it's the most rewarding thing. This is actually the most rewarding thing I've ever done, besides have kids, you know? And you see... Oh, my Warriors, right on, man. Thank you so much for being here with us. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Tiki Man fan, what's up? Okay, one more. Oh, one more? Hey, Tiki Man fan, hi. Hmm. Hey, thank you for last week at PayPal. Oh, yes, Listen. Tiki Man, thank you, dude. I didn't realize until after the stream was over. Sure, thank you so thank much, you. dude. Really appreciate that. That, that was so that was a winner. Uh, a winner. Winner, winner, literally chicken and waffle dinner. Uh, highly recommend it. And I think it was like eight bucks and it's enough. Like good. Uh -huh, good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna head over, show you guys the Dante and Coco uh, topiary. And then I think we're gonna make our way to get on three caballeros. Gotta go on Grand Fiesta Tour. It, I, I've told it many times, but it's very, uh, I have an emotional connection to that ride with my youngest son, as well as uh, Carousel Progress, Carousel of Progress with my younger son, so. Oh yeah, I probably should have been charging. <laughs> oh yeah, well, we're doing the ride. That is good. There's a lot of flavor on that latte. But don't you it almost has like an eggnog flavor. I think it's just the spice. Like like uh a matcha. A matcha? Oh that's what I'm tasting. Oh my gosh. Did you ask for oat milk? No, I didn't. I didn't even think about it. Oh really? Anyway. Okay. Yes, Queen got me uh Queen got me having getting coffee with oat milk. And not for any other reason but the the flavor. It's so good. It will ch it changes the dynamic of, of your coffee, you know, of your latte or, or whatever drink you're getting. It's really really good. It's not for the calories because the oat milk is still have like a good amount of calories. Mm -hmm. For the calories, the best one is coconut. Yes, yes. I tried that one too, but the oat milk has this flavor. The oat milk has a very it's distinct like flavor. Yes, yeah, very unique. I feel like it gives the the flavor of the coffee a little more body. You know. Isn't this weird, Queen? This doesn't even look like a topiary, you know? That doesn't even look like that's a topiary. Not, oh, that's, that's not the topiary. Oh, my bad. Silly, Silly me. Roman Davis, dude. Carousel of Progress is, uh, oh, man. That, that's just like a historic ride for me, you know? Went to the World's Fair with it, you know, like a lot of history with that, with that ride, you know. Hello, Camilla. Hello, Jim Dempsey, Camilla. Hey, hello, guys. Hey, hey, guys, it's the J, and she's rocking tie dye. Yeah. How How's you it doing? Going? Good. How are you? All right. Hi. Guys, the J is in the house. Enjoying the Flower and Garden Festival yes. so far, yeah. Yeah. I have uh, lightning lane for uh, Oh, that's awesome. I've never been on it before. You never? I don't. You guys, I don't know how you guys feel. I love the food. I'm not a big fan of Frozen per se. Yeah. But the wine's fine. It's awesome. Well, you know the coffee? Oh, yeah. When it was the old Norway ride. See, I never. Yeah. Is the J, guys? We never got to go on that because when we came down in 2007, I think it was. 2007? I think it was closed or, or the line was big okay. or something like that. We just didn't end up going in it. We were like, yeah, whatever, get it next time. Yep, yep. No, we won't. <laughs> yeah. So, well, hey, we'll uh, I'll, 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 yep, catch up with you after the Have fun. See, guys, the J rocking some tie dye. You gotta rock the tie dye on tie dye Sunday. Okay, so you got that one. Yes. So this is the one. This is the drink right here. It is a berry sweet blend of chai tea, blueberry syrup, and milk topped with whipped cream and cinnamon. 
I don't know if I'm getting blueberry. Oh, yes I am. Now that I taste it, I'm, I'm definitely getting blueberry. Okay. Daniel Day, I know dude, me too. The Mickey tie-dye, come on now. How do you go wrong with that? This is just awesome. So it looks like, I think that's cabbage. Is that cabbage? They're actually growing cabbage? Fun Fierro, good morning. Don't whip Donnie, what's up buddy? Go socks. you know it brother, you know it. I, I am. Uh, I will forever be a Boston fan of sports. I don't care how you know how, how bad <laughs> our teams can be sometimes, man. You know, because uh, I am no fair weather fan. I'm a fair weather. Fa uh, I'm not a fair weather fan. Even after the Bruins, uh, you know, had their historic season and then uh, somehow blew it against the Florida Panthers last year, I still was repping my Bruins stuff, man. Steal your base, baby. Yeah, cab cabbage and kale, man. Pinwa P, what's up, man? It was awesome to, to see you, man. I hope you guys had a great time. And I hope you guys figured out how to pronounce the uh, the food over there in uh, Italy. <laughs> but I just love the, the flower and garden. Everywhere you look, you know what I mean? They have like a unique kind of looking setup. Uh, just with the flowers, like all kinds of different flowers. Look how beautiful these are, man. Seriously. It's just mind-blowing, like nature. Nature is one of the best artists ever, you know? Libby Donovan, welcome in. I flew in the Jet Blue Black Boston Bruins my flight to Disney in 2023. But yeah, nice. Nice. Ethan White, what's up? We're just waiting for Queen. She's getting some information from Joffrey's. I'm not sure what information. Oh my gosh. Look, guys. It's Corn Dog Jimmy. Look, look, look. I'm, I'm sneaking. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. <laughs> what's up? How you doing? Good, dude. Jimmy! Now then. Right. What's up, buddy? Hey, you're getting some burn, man. I know, the sun started coming out when I'm leaving. So. Yeah, I know, yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> you're going to go home? Yeah, tomorrow morning, but it's like getting hot, isn't it? So the next few days. It's well, tell, you know what it is? The humidity. It's getting a little more humid now. Yeah. So, Jimmy, when are you coming back, dude? Good question. I need, I need to get it in the works. I think maybe the April, May. Okay, right on. And then she's gonna come over in June. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and then probably back here for our birthdays because it's like mine and Silas and Mike's birthday within a week of each other. Is it really? In July. Oh wow! Yeah. So if we do the trip right. We're here for all. And, ha and have a big bash and all that stuff. Nice, yeah. dude. Nice. So, actually, I live here. Well, let us know when you're gonna invite us to the UK so we can come hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's like, I won't have you come anywhere near my house. <laughs> Bye, guys. Corn dog, Jimma. But it's funny because we saw him. Uh, well, no, it wasn't last Sunday. It was Wednesday. Oh. Here at the Flower and Garden. So come and give my pretty much my, my little nephew. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You better listen to me. That's right. That's right. Oh, Daniel Day, dude, I, I love, I love a UK accent, man. All right, here we are. The amazing Coco and Dante. I'm going to get over here and get a good, oh, yeah. And what I love, what I love here, besides just the fact that you have the awesome topiaries, there's a bunch of marigolds, and I love that smell. Reminds me of when I was a kid. We had a lot of marigolds around my house. You smell that? Oh, 
So cool, though. And you know what? I think you're right. I think this is my favorite this year, the new ones. At first, I thought it was Groot, and I'm like, you know what? I don't think it's Groot. Yeah. But I don't think it's Groot. I, I think it. I think it's over here. I think it's Coco and Dante. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep, I think this is definitely my favorite new one, for sure. Oh my gosh, we missed that. Yep, great marketing photo op time. So you get your ears, and then you take a picture here. I mean, come on. How cool is that? Oh, I, Miguel, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right, Tiki Mayfair. No, I just Coco. I knew it was the Coco Topiaries. I always do that. Miguel, thank you for catching that. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's just funny, because it's like, the movie's name is Coco, and Coco is the grandmother. You know, where you just see the kid and instantly just go, oh, he's Coco. No. Cocopoli. Cocopiary. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Touche. That was good. All right, let's go inside of my favorite pavilion here at Epcot, the Mexico Pavilion. Oh, and if you want to get some nice empanadas, boom, over here at Choza de Margarita. Oh my God, Erica. I gotta tell her. <laughs> all right, let's see what this is all about inside of here. Let's see what's crack a lacking. Ba -ba -ba. I always, I gotta go this way every time. And remember guys, no climbing. No climbing. Oh yeah. Air conditioning. A tank Disney, thank you so much. Uh, heading out. Thank you, Drew Queen, for the live stream. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful day. Um, I need the cord and the charger when we get in, yeah. Eileen Murphy, hello, welcome in from Jersey. Oh yeah, best pavilion ever. It's so dark right now, we got the sun. I know, yeah, I know. Okay. Yep. So. It's just beautiful though. I like, like I love how it feels like you're outside in the dark. So you can come in here during the day and you'll forget that it's like super sunny and, and bright out. Alright, just give us a moment as we charge. We get charged. I'm just gonna put, yeah, uh, over here. Yeah, I'm gonna get the cable, we're gonna get charged, we're gonna get rejuvenated. There we go. Yeah. I'm sorry if uh, the stream gets a little jiggly just because I had the charger in and it's it's just the weight. So I'm going to try to minimize that as much as possible. Okay, there we go. Jennifer Bennett, hello from Connecticut. Robo Drew. Trying my best to keep the stream not wonky. All right. Gotta love this ride. You just gotta. Can we just place it somewhere? 
Grand Fiesta tours, and there's no way. <laughs> it's just a straight, pretty much walk on. I love walk ons. Hello from Cape Cod, Scott Fitzgerald. Thanks for tuning in, man. Hope you're doing well today. Always do. We got two. Can we just wait for the first row? Yeah, you got it. You got it. No way. Oops. What happened? Okay. Thank you so much. Gracias. All right, guys, enjoy the ride. Th thank you, Laura, for joining our Patreon. Appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. I just don't want the wave coming down. Come on! 
ba 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 Giving you guys fireworks. Look at that. Fireworks in the middle of the day. I did too. So cute. Guide us. I don't know. There we go. There we go. We're together. To guide us. Ay caramba! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Da da ba 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 Cheeky man said, I just like the boo boo. Thanks for coming to Mexico and come again soon. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's always a nice, relaxing ride. Well themed. Whoa, oh my god. Remember to stay seated till the boat reaches the dock. Then gather your belongings. And exit to the right. Oh, have a nice day. Asalabi. <laughs> Remember to stay seated until the boat reaches the dock. Then gather your belongings and exit to the right. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, yeah. One of the lamps was like crooked, and Queen said she wanted to get out and fix it. Yeah, me too. Remember to stay seated. Welcome in, Mama Coco. Hey, Bill in Connecticut, man. Thanks for joining. Thank you guys. Going so we can keep bringing you guys to the parks with us. Holly and Sink, welcome in. All right, we did it. Oh, it's hard getting up sometimes. Always together. Yeah, 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 I know. Which blows your mind a little bit. All right. Cafecito and Laura, hello, welcome in. Thanks for joining our stream today. You, hey, you can see whatever you want. Yeah, she wants. Yeah, she's looking for Guardians of the Galaxy ears. Pretty sure. This is smart. They put the churro ears here because it makes sense. Oh yeah. Oh, you're right. Yes, the churro ears, but they're. I don't think people like the plastic because it's heavy. It's heavier than like a regular ears. These are beautiful though. They have these ones, and before this one, they had a black one that just looked like that too. Mm -hmm. I really like it too. 
the girl, uh, that girl named Lauren, thank you so much for joining our Patreon. The membership helps out so much, seriously, for everything that we have, you know, have to pay for with the park tickets, gas, and stuff like that. Um, it, it helps out a ton. So thank you so much, seriously. I was looking for Donald's dad. Yeah, I know. It's when I tell you, I told Queen a while back. I said they they have Donald here in the Mexico Pavilion, like the plushie. I said, I told her, I said, the way Disney's going, they're going to kind of get rid of that because we had that sneaky suspicion they might be retheming the ride. I saw some of you guys talking about the retheme. Um, this Touch makes, it. no, it makes it, it makes on, my sensory, oh my, I don't like it. They're all coming out. Like it looks pretty, I just, I the sensory there of the, the feel, I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. I do. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, oh, that's cool. And look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at that I sack used, there. I used to rock these ones in high school. Yeah, your queen. The, so, look, guys, this is like Queen from high school. Rocking the big, uh, the big. What do you what do you even call that? Side satchel, I guess. I don't know. We can call it whatever we want. Fiesta, Fiesta, Siesta. Repeat. That's a funny shirt. Oh my gosh, she's cute too. Wow. Heavy. <laughs> Is it weighted? Oh, well, oh yeah, it's like really, really, like they packed it very tightly with, uh, you know, cotton or whatever they put in there. Side saddlebag. Thank you, Nanny Poo. Side saddlebag. And we have something we need to do today. Okay. So every now and again on the channel, oh yeah, oh yes I do. So if you're new to the channel, I'll explain. Uh, not that it's that hard to explain, but we're gonna all make a wish all together on a coin. Don't tell us what your wish is. Um, and I don't want you to wish for something for yourself. I want you to, to put some energy and, and send out some good positive vibes, vibes and wish for something for somebody else. Somebody needs uh, some of your positivity today. And uh, my wish is always the same, always will be. Uh, but let me know when you guys are ready, and then we will make a wish in the Mexican Pavilion Fountain. Love this right here. It's amazing. Yeah, we got to wish big, baby. It's all about wishing big. All right, you let me know when you feel like we're ready, I think. All right, here we go, guys. I hope all your wishes come true. There we go. Send those good positive vibes out to folks that uh, they, they need to receive that. I'm telling you guys, it really works. It, it really does. You, you, you put out that energy, you put out that feeling, you, you put out good stuff into the world. I'm telling you right now, it, ha it has a funny way of coming to fruition. It really does. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I love it. This reminds me of Looney Tunes every time I hear that. Oh, yeah, I, I, that's I, funny. Yeah, oh, yes. Yes. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. Oh, Erica, I already saw coins in there. <laughs> I always, to be honest with you, I always look to see if other people put coins before I just start throwing money in somewhere. You know? I don't want to be that guy. Nobody wants to be that guy. All right, hold on. I'm going to, uh, I want to grab a thing of water real quick. A little, a little zipple. Oh, you bring one. I bought water. Oh, where? In your office? Mm -hmm. This is my... This water is important, especially on a day like today. If you if you haven't come in the parks, if you haven't been to Florida, 
you know, uh, I understand that even when it's not like 95 degrees out, you can get dehydrated so quick walking around uh, and just not realize it. And just so you know, what happened to me on a live stream in Magic Kingdom a few years ago, <laughs> and it snuck up on me and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't drank water. Hi, Cafecito with Laura. How are you? That's right, Johnny. I H2O into myself, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. So, I want to see maybe anything about this corner. Mm -hmm. Because they usually have pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. Pretty birds. Pretty birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do they ever. Mm -hmm. I'm going right for those bad boys. Look at these flowers. You called it. So pretty. That's some high quality H2O. <laughs> yeah, these are like that nice tropical exotic. Isn't that funny how they pack their own water there? Yeah, it's like a camel. The reserves. It's like a camel. Look at this. Look at I this. mean, look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I saw. Ooh. Pretty ones there. I see pretty ones everywhere. Oh, look at it. Would you look at it? <laughs> would you would you look at it? Just look at it. No, that is really pretty though. I like the uh, like the design on the pedal. <laughs> Fun with Caleb C. What's going on? Welcome in. I mean, would you just look at? Oh, those are pretty. Look at this. Well, <laughs> look at this. I like the yellow. Look at the yellow with the, like the pink there. Oh, that's pretty. <sighs> I always get home with allergies. I know, we sit there and breathe in all of the pollen. Hold on, I'm gonna get into bigger mode here, bigger camera, I think. I think, did I do it? Did I do it? I don't know if I did it. Is that yeah, bigger? That one's bigger? Okay. Sorry guys, don't mean to play around with the camera, I'm just trying to get the, did I get it? Is it better? Better and bigger? I love them. I've never seen See guys, everybody everybody's geeking out because they're all they're just amazing. And they're like, look at it! Who wouldn't you just look at it? Would you look at that? <laughs> uh oh, Queen sneezing. <laughs> look at this. Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy hiding. Disney Pal from Boston. I know, man. Like, but I want to want to read here. It says tropical rainforest, hot and humid climates can create high, highly adaptive plant species. In rainforest, such uh, trees search for sunlight, shading the dark forest floor below. Meanwhile, extraordinary orchards extend their roots to absorb water while attracting pollinators with their intricate petals. So they're being all pretty. You know, they're, like the flowers are like, look how pretty we are. We're trying to attract. All the bees and the and the butterflies. Oh, yeah. I know what they're doing. So basically, what the what the flowers are doing, they're getting all dolled up, like they're going out on a Friday night. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Yeah, too. that's what they're doing. They're, they're putting their, their makeup on. They're really yeah, yeah, to attract them bees, man. I think going home. Going out on a Friday night. Those are some high maintenance flowers, let me tell you. Date night for the Yeah, yeah, dude, it's date night for the flowers and bees. And this guy over here. I wish they'd uh, do a new one here. I really do. I, I don't know what they put, but like uh, just a new one. Cause this, I love this guy, but, but he's been here for a while. Thank you for stopping by, have a nice day. Oh, you, yes, thank you, Kathy. Sorry I didn't see Kathy come in. 
Uh, hello, Maureen and Drew from Scotland. It is warm. Yes, it's a little humid. Dappas, love right back to you in England. Thank you for joining us today. Night guy, what's up? But yeah, I just feel like they should get a new get a new uh, character there. You know, he's been he's been locking the fort down for a while now. But I think them having a few new topiaries this year is a step in the right direction. Yes, because they were they the same one for a couple years. Well, because this is the thing, right? You have a festival, and you can't keep bringing back the same food, the same topiaries, and the same everything every year because it's like, well, it's just like last year. You know what I mean? There's no. Yes, they and they've done, and I think it's great that they did. Anna and Elsa last year were over here; they moved them which I think is great that they've actually uh, kind of rearranged some of the topiaries in different locations to give a different feel, you know? At least the effort's there. Like, that's what I like, you know? Like, so they're over here now, which I think is great. Got a cool backdrop. You know what I mean? I think the backdrop's great. See what I mean? It's a way better backdrop than the, uh, than the other one, so. Don't take me to the worst game. The Red Dalek, hello, welcome, welcome. Oh, it, yes, it is now definitely quite muggy. The humidity has come. Because it's like that in-between, like where it was raining and now the sun's come out, so it's like steamy. 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 He certainly said, hey. I don't. Let's do it. How could, how could I say no to that? How could I say no to that face with those beautiful ears? All right, let's let's investigate China a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They have one dandelion. No, but they have uh, the animal topiaries that I enjoy. See, look at the little panda bear. They're so cute. And you know what I didn't know when I actually started learning about panda bears? They are like one of the clumsiest animals. I didn't know that. They really are. They are not very agile. They're not like a cat. But very, very clumsy. This is a nice little area to yeah, sit and chillax. <laughs> oh, yes. Epcot in the morning is awesome. I, for me, it's every park in the morning. See right there? This, is a, this would be a great shot for our Zen video. Yeah. Just like yeah. that. Right, guys? Huh? Look at that. Gorgeous. We're gonna get it out maybe by next week, guys. Yeah. And we'll be ready. And we'll premiere it. And we'll premiere it. Maybe in the evening. Gotta be in the evening, yep. Yep, so make sure you don't miss it. And I'm gonna bring it up because I haven't talked about it for a little bit now. Uh, we have a new video up on the channel that we just premiered yesterday. Uh, you guys need to watch it. You need to watch it because it is an amazing rental, themed rental near Orlando. It's a mansion. Uh, and we got invited to go film it. It is off the hook. Awesome. Trust me, there's some folks in here that have already watched it, and I think they enjoyed it as well. So make sure. We'll remind you again after the after the stream to uh, go check it out. We got ourselves a little waterfall. It's not as impressive as the Canada waterfall, but just moving water in general is awesome. Yeah, oh yeah, see? I'm telling you, man. Oh, Foggy, yes, thank you for watching it. Doom Boogie, what's going on? Welcome in. And thank you, as always, guys, for uh, welcoming folks coming into the stream. If I, you know, some people that I miss coming in because I'm, I'm just take my eye away from the chat for a minute, so thank you, guys. For, for making sure that they know that uh, we're happy that they're here with us today. Hello. 
And this is a pavilion I feel like a lot of people don't really utilize, I guess. Oh no, somebody forgot their, they forgot their little orange bird sippy. Oh, they're going to be bummed out, man. Now, I love that sipper, but I do not like uh, the drink that they put in it. I don't know if they changed it since we, we got it two years in a row, and both times I was like, oh my gosh, man. Felt like I was just drinking like, li like liquid sugar. I don't. It's cold enough. And I, yes, it's not cold enough, but it also was just like in extremely sugary. It wasn't even refreshing. Yeah, it wasn't refreshing. Yeah, a thick orange Kool-Aid. Lori Johns, hello, welcome in. And Big E. Yeah, they they do a great job, man. For. Uh, for the like the um, landscaping part here at Epcot, no, I mean all the all the Disney parks, but we're gonna stroll through the African corner. Yeah, and we have to get a sun sunscreen. Sun, yes, we need sunscreen. But last week we burned. We did. I I, I had lobster face. Not taser face, but lobster face. I wonder what they have here in Africa. Uh, I'm guessing a piece of pineapple. Like they always have a piece of pineapple here. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm all about it. Ooh, they actually switched it up this year. They, wait, what? No way. Check this out. Seasonal fruit barbet with sweet chili sauce and Dole Whip mango. Sweet chili sauce. That is insane. Tangerine soft serve. They've got a tangerine soft serve. Barks red cream soda float. Do you want to try any of those? Oh man. No, we'll save it for next time. We'll, we'll save it for next time. I know we did. We did. We did get sugared up. But next time, I think that's going to be uh, either on a, on a video, a vlog, or a live stream. I got to try the uh, that mango Dole Whip with the with the hot sauce. Got to see how that goes. That's for New Year's. Oh, no. That's a butterfly ear. What's like up, Joe Nardo? What's up, dude? Joe Nardo, hi. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying warm, brother. Trying to bring you guys, you know, some sunshine today. Uh, and I wanted to let you guys know, I know somebody had brought up the uh, Spikes Pollination. <laughs> Pollination. Exploration, it's $9.99 to do that. Um, and you, you know, you do the little scavenger hunt. And we showed it back a while back in the stream. Uh, the prizes, they have four different prizes and they're all little tiny cornhole games. They're adorable, they are fantastic. So, in case that's something you guys decide you wanna do during, uh, during Flower and Garden. Oh, yeah, Keith Abbott, dude, and anybody else, like, you cannot get everything done at these parks, like, in a day or two, really. You know what I mean? Like, maybe you get all the rides done, but then you miss the shows, then you miss uh, trying other foods, or going in some areas, you know, like, around Epcot, investigating some of the, some of the pavilions, you know? As me and Queen later on, I think, are going to uh, do a little pavilion vlogs to kind of go you know go in depth on each pavilion and really like and really pay attention and just highlight everything in there you know because they all honestly all of them are pretty darn awesome but I'll never forget since I, I, I watched you know a bunch of Disney documentaries and stuff like that that it bums me out that the ride that they were gonna have here just didn't happen man and I'm like why not now Bring it, bring it, you know, like get it going. It's almost like finish what you started with Epcot. True. Because there was a lot, there was a lot of ideas that got scrapped. I think that's the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I was going to go over there. I'm like, oh yeah, I got to show the seven dwarves. I know you got to get the angle, you know? Absolutely. 
such a great photo op. You got to kind of stand, you know, right about there so you can get them all in there. Oh yeah, Keith, I know, I know. There's been some, some things that, yeah, they just get scrapped, man, and it's, it just is what it is, you know? Just like when they make movies, some scenes get uh, left on the cutting room floor, as they say. That's gotta be, <laughs> that's gonna be a bummer if like that was your, like say it was your idea for the ride, or your idea for, or, or your part in a movie, and that's the one thing that gets scrapped. That's gotta be, <laughs> that's gonna break your heart, you know? Because not every idea, not everything is going to make it to uh, the final product. But these are a new addition, and I think they're, I think they're awesome. I think, I think it is. I'm not sure. No, 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 it is. I, I, I actually read it, because I was like, I think these are new, because I don't remember seeing them. And I looked it up, and yes, this is uh, a new topiary this year. New topiaries. I think they're awesome. They're really cute. I like the, I like the gnome look, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got it. She got the bad uh, dad joke. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. All right, hold on. I, I got it. I, I, I'm sorry, but I just I love this little area. It's so much fun. It brings out like the the little the little kid in me. I love how the, they have the flower and garden little. Oh yeah, we noticed that last year, I think. I don't know how well I can get the camera, but those little signs there, they say flower and garden festival. Great little details. It's celebrating too. But I gotta wait. I gotta wait for the train. So much fun. I love I love trains. Queen loves gold, but I love trains. That's better. I'll just show you guys over here. Holy cannoli. So out of all these things, I gotta say the, the refreshing thing on a hot day like today would definitely be this little guy right here. It's pesto sauce. You got pesto sauce, some uh, mozzarella, great tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I, I can eat tomatoes all day long, every tomato on the planet. I don't know how you guys feel about tomatoes. I know Queen back in the day did not like them at all, right? Yeah. No. Just couldn't stand them. I just starting to like the cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I didn't. And for me, uh, I want to tell you this again, because if you can find them, if you guys want to try your hand at gardening, uh, or you or you put out, you know, plants, you know, you grow plants every year, uh, the tomato, if you can find it, you need to get it. It is called, why am I spacing it? Uh, cherry wine, uh, no, it's, um, oh my gosh. Cher cherry wine. Ch cherry wine tomatoes. Cherry wine tomatoes. They're heirloom tomatoes and they're really big and they're they're like ugly looking tomatoes. Best tomato I've ever had in my life. Um, like you know when you cut a tomato and there's a lot of like watery in the middle, not a lot of meat, you know, pardon the expression, but like meat to the tomato. But is this tomato that you like though? Is like bad, like a big tomato? No, that's the one. Oh, the, yeah, yes, that's the one. That's the one, yes. Uh oh no no, I take it back. No, I take back, what is it? Brandy wine. Brandy. There we go, not cherry wine. Brand, brandy wine tomatoes. Get get one, grow tomatoes, it. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Tomato, tomato, shimato. <laughs> but uh, it literally, it's the best tomato I've ever eaten in my life. A lot of, uh, a lot of good tomato to it. So, tropical frosted iced tea, okay. I, Hawaiian island syrup. So it's like the other one, except instead of having tangerine, it has Hawaiian island flavor. Yes, right here. Always love to let people know, because not everybody knows. Down here, there's never a time, you'll never know when, but always if you're in the area over here near the American Pavilion, 
Always take a peek down here because this is where uh, they will have some rare characters uh, for meet and greets. It's, uh, you know, some of the characters are a little, a, not nervous, but they got to learn the ropes here at Disney. So they come back here and uh, kind of practice before they go out on the real stage. So you can get some pretty cool photo ops. We saw Smee. We saw Smee out there one time. So. But, uh, oh, but I don't know if anybody said, has anybody else grown or tried brandy wine tomatoes? Let me know. Yeah, buddy, dude, have a, um, have a safe trip back home, dude. Hopefully we'll see you in April or May when you come back. You know the one that we didn't see this year, that Tiana? Oh yeah, we didn't see Tiana. Let's go see Tiana Topiary. Oh yes, I know Anthony Macuto Smoke uh, Smokehouse over here, Regal Eagle. Great, great barbecue place. Great barbecue place. Uh, Piggy Master, hello. We love Disney as well. It's always. Uh, it always makes me happy whenever I step foot on Disney property. So this is what uh, Johnny was talking about, the chicken gumbo, I think. Oh, yeah. The muffaletta, panini, bananas foster, bread pudding. I don't care for bread pudding, but I do like banana fosters. I have, so, okay. Uh, mm. All looks good. It all looks good. Look at this guy walking around looking for like, looking like for free food. No, he's looking for free food. That's what he's looking for. Yeah, like he has me all like one one of us. Oh, I would like to go to the Disney. The Art of Disney? Okay. I said I go to Star Football. This looks beautiful. You got the you got the Spanish moss in the background. How awesome yeah. is that? She looks great. Very nice topiary. Oh no, no, you're good, man. No, 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 you're good. <laughs> no, 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 you're good, man. Aww. What'd you say? Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Sounded like Linda Belcher from Bob's Burgers. Oh, Bob. All right. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> The ones that you love oh yeah! All right, we'll have to see that in just a second. This is pretty awesome. Hold on, let me get on my uh, the, the closer one. There we go, so you guys can really see. Oh, look at that! You got some uh, some high end princess dolls. They look very tired though, in their eyes. Oh my goodness. No way. Look at how cute that is. Look at this. Wally and Eva. Wally. I love this. It's 140. 140. Very cool. This is a little Jim Shore action going on. The artist Jim Shore. I like it. But I feel like it's missing something. I don't know what. I don't know what. I like it, but I think it could have a little more going on. And this is the new line they have. I guess it's Lewis Whitman. He has become one of my new favorites. I love the vividness. I love just the... It's just cute, man. It's just cute. Like, look at Mad Madam Mim. Gemma Jarman, hello. How's the weather right now? It is steamy. It is very, very steamy. Um, oh, that is awesome. Oh, it's Radigan. Oh, wow. From The Mouse Detective. That is, it's one of my favorite uh, Disney movies, is The Mouse Detective. It is. That is just, I don't care, that is awesome. Two ninety nine. I don't know how you guys feel about the Great Mouse Detective, but uh, one of my all time favorites. Oh, that's great too. Who 
Ooh, I will look, Mike Wazowski. Uh, I thought they normally did have those shadow boxes. I will in just a second. I think I know where they would be if they had them. Look at this one. I am Groot. And that's that little bug that was over near the topiary. Hello. Oh, look at these. I love these little uh, wooden busts. You got Phineas and then you got Gus. No Ezra. I wonder if they sold out. Uh, but if you're talking about these shadow boxes, Mike, they've got them, dude. You got the Hitchhiking Ghosts, uh, one of my personal favorites here. Love this, Nightmare Before Christmas. These shadow boxes are everything. Thank you. They are awesome. It, it, you know what it is? It's all about the depth. I love it has depth. And it's like a little scene from either, you know, either a movie or, uh, or the ride. And you're looking at between 99 to all the way down to 79 for these, depending on what they are. Very cool. All I gotta say is, who do you think's the scariest one out of the bunch here? Who's the one that you would be like, I need to run away? Ursula. Yes, <laughs> Ursula. Holy cow. Like, I feel like, I feel like I just hang out with, yeah, you know what I mean? She's like, whatever. <laughs> She looks even a scale kind of Yeah, she looks like she's kind of, kind of beat down from life. <laughs> but like Ursula. You your breakfast. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, here you go. Have a bite. Ursula, a little scary. Ursula, scary. Even Maleficent. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. She's like, why don't, you, why don't you dial it down a little bit, Ursula? Dial it down. <laughs> dial it down. We're not here to scare the kids. Come on. Uh, Green Giant, what's going on? Welcome in. Uh, Wendy Darling, so you guys need the, the Bambi one. The Bambi one was $79.99, so it was the cheaper out of... Uh, oh, that's uh, the snow one? Oh, the Bambi. The, ba the, the snow. I think so, yeah. yeah. But that was the cheapest one out of that bunch, so... Oh, that breeze feels nice. And can I tell you guys something that's crazy? See this right here, Luminous? We have not seen this show yet. We saw a, like a piece of it, but we had to leave that night. Remember? Oh yeah. And then we were gonna, and then, and then we were gonna see it a couple weeks ago because we were here at night. We're like, yeah, cool. And then it started raining. It started raining. You guys like it? Yes. Did you guys like Luminous? Was it good? Yeah, no, it's not bad. Seventy nine for those, and but even like a hundred bucks. I know some people are like that's that's a lot for that. It all depends on what you know what something's worth to you. But like for me, I'm like, I I think it's worth a hundred because it's just beautifully, beautifully done. You know. True. We need to get us a bonsai. Even a little bonsai. <laughs> I love bonsai trees. I actually grew one, and then I, I got to learn more about it. Uh, unfortunately, because it was like. It seemed like I wasn't giving it enough water, and then I gave it more water, and then it was like, no, you gave me too much water, and it was very hard. They're, they're, they're not as easy as you think. They really aren't. So just <laughs> keep that in mind if you plan on getting one. Uh, or at least for me, it was tricky. Yeah. But then again, I swear, out of anything I've ever grown, <laughs> the hardest thing that I can never grow is cucumbers, and everybody says it's the easiest, and I'm like... I literally think that cucumbers just don't like me. You love Luminous? Uh, I'm so glad we had the chance to see it. That's awesome. Oh, you guys like it? Okay. Good to know. Terry Rose, what's going on? And Blake BMW, yo, yo. We are feeling amazing. Feeling hot now, but we're... we're I know, it's getting hot. But we are feeling amazing. We're in Epcot, man, on a Sunday. Celebrating tie-dye Sunday. Can't go wrong with that. You want to see your dragon? You want to see your dragon? Yeah, on the other side. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The side that actually shows what it is. I 
crowds look down today, right? Must be a great day in the park. Yeah, it actually seems pretty reasonable uh, crowd-wise today. It's not, it's not too bad, yeah. But it's still earlier. Like, you know, some people like to show up for the festival more like around like 2, 3 o'clock, a little later in the day. Such a, you know what? I want to have a little zen here. Let's have a little zen with the Epcot ball in the background. So spam your zen emojis, any emoji you like, or just kick back, relax, and enjoy the sights from here in Epcot. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And that almost smelled like the ocean, didn't it? Had a little br had a little briny smell. I like it. Ooh, that's not yeah. come out. Yeah. I have to start wearing hats. Yes. Like you should wear a little sun hat. I gotta get one that to fit. Oh, I hope. I no, hope. I for look. Oh, 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 I got you. No, but you look good in, in most of the sun hat. No. <laughs> You look good in cowboy hats, you look fine. Just grab a cowboy hat. Don't you think, guys, Queen would look great in a cowboy hat? Oh, I think you're right, Billy. It was coming from the scallop stand. <laughs> That's what I was smelling. I know, from Canada. From Canada. They put a smellitizer underneath the uh, water and it just shoots up over here. Oh yeah, and if you want to make your own, there's a lot of people over there, but if you want to make your own topiary, they have like Mickey, they had an elephant the other day, actually, they only have a couple left. Uh, 60 to like 80, I think it was, depending on which one you get, but uh, I've never done that. I'm going to have to try that. <laughs> well, I want to go over, I want to go to France. I want to show the uh, the TikTok or uh, call, uh, TikTok. The TikTok. I was thinking of uh, Wizard of Oz too. The TikTok. Oh. I meant Cogsworth. Sure. Cogsworth. Do you remember that? No. Wizard of Oz too. You don't remember the the, I don't the robot? That much. Oh my gosh. I think I, I tried to forget. <laughs> yeah. No. It it was something I couldn't forget. I don't know if you guys have seen. Uh, <laughs> Return to Oz is what it is. It's Wizard of Oz number two, and uh, it literally scarred me as a kid. It was so it's such a dark movie, and it was for kids. Uh, let me know if you watched it and if uh, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty awesome. A little tea steeper. Mickey, it's scary because it's a glass. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Uncle Aardvark, you know what I'm talking about, dude. Tell you, man, the wheelies? Holy cow. This is scary. It's like nightmare fuel. Like, for real. Yes, oh my god. I, I think that was the moment when uh, my my childhood changed was uh, the, the queen there that could change her heads out. Like, <laughs> it's so weird, man. It was, it's kind of disturbing, and I'm just like, you're telling people this is a kid's movie? Because I feel bad for anybody, because I didn't even know. Like, you know, it's one of those things, I'm young, somebody put it on, and of course I watch it, because I'm like, oh, I like the original Wizard of Oz, which is like, not really scary, it's more like, you know, kind of an adventure and a little fun, and no, this one was like, you know what, let's really get that R-rated <laughs> vibe going on. Oh, yes, Erica. From Moxie Fest when I tried a cowboy hat. Oh yes, see? And I was trying to tell you guys to comment. Yes. But I was like whispering. <laughs> you guys didn't know what I was saying. I didn't know. I would have filmed it. Bell. Oh yeah, there's Bell. So she comes out in this area every now and again. You guys want to meet Bell? Do da do da do da do da. Yes. I don't know. We will have to find out. We'll have to investigate. 
Do 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 all right, let's go see. We're going to show you Belle and the Beast. And then Cogsworth. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite topiaries just because he has like a work, he's like a working looking clock. It's pretty awesome. Uh, They look terrific. And and a great placement too. Like your your backdrop there for the photo is awesome. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I probably oh yeah, you're right. Wanna tuck that in my in my bag? Oh, Pickles is going to be a reboot? Really? Okay, I, I'd be willing to watch that. We still haven't seen the new uh, Willy Wonka movie. I want to, but I'm waiting for it to come out on uh, it was Disney Plus, I think. Look at but look at this. Tell me this is not awesome. It's like a little clock that actually does something. And, and at nighttime, Lumiere actually lights up. The little candles light up. Pretty awesome. A cherish the messy painter. Happy tie dye Sunday. All star. Five. Want to go that way or that way? Yeah, that way. Oh yes. So okay, we're on another ear hunt at the moment. Uh, we went into the UK pavilion the other day because uh, there was new ears that came out. And we got there, and of course, the, the girls like, yeah, they sold out, like, instantly. You know, just like the Guardian's ears. It's fun, but it is funny to me, certain ears that, like, everybody goes for. Because there's been a couple times where I saw ears come out, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, people are going to freak out. They're going to run out of those. And then I get there, and no, like, they have, like, in abundance. Yeah. Some of them, they never back. Some of them that were popular and, and sold out, they don't bring it back. My treasure. My yeah, treasure. my precious. It's the Epco one, they light up. Yes. They're all transparent. Mm -hmm. They light up at night. Yep. I think that was for the... That was for, or the, the, the 40th anniversary. anniversary. Holy bird. <laughs> Wonka was better than you expected. Okay. Can't wait. This right on. I, I gotta, we gotta check it out. We're waiting to come in the HBO. Florida Parks After Dark. What's going on, guys? Welcome in. Happy Tie Dye Sunday. And if you are new to the channel, we hope you hit that subscribe, boop the like, all that good stuff. Have some fun with us. That's the most important part. It's funny, like when you walk through, like the parks, when you hear the music, you feel like you're like kind of part of a movie. You know, <laughs> like. Like it's your theme music. Hippa! Hi, girl. How are you? How you doing? How you doing? Let's see what has those ears. All right, we're on the ear hunt. But it has shaped up to be a nice, hot day. Yeah. Oh, the little garden, yes. We're going to go through the English Tea Garden. We're twinning! Twinning! Oh, no, presented by Twinnings. My bad. Uh, see, you can't rush through here. you gotta, you got to slow it down. Because it's just gorgeous. Lemongrass right here. Where's the lemongrass? Oh... I just gotta touch it. I gotta touch it. I don't smell it. I still don't smell it. <laughs> just beautiful. Lavender. 
Do 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 I can't either. I think it's too much, too many smells there. I think, yeah, I think we've just already permeated our nose with all the uh, flowers. Ooh. Lemon ginger? I want to see. I want to see. Come on. I don't even know. Okay, smell it over the lemon grass here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Lemon grass. And I love lemon grass in uh, the, like, Thai food. They have like lemon grass and Thai food and stuff. Oh, so good. In salt golden. LaDonna Scott, hello. Welcome in Serenity Music. I know, that is from a movie. I think it's been from a, a couple movies. I forget the name of it. I knew the name and I just can't think of it at the moment. All right, wish us luck. Hopefully we can find these ears. It does smell good in here. Oh, that's cute. Look at, look, see, the bread and butterflies. How's the handle? Because it kind of. Yeah, I'm looking at it going. Eh. Oh, that's cool. Celtic cross. You got Big Ben. Oh. A corgi. I love corgis. I wonder how many she owns. In her lifetime, yeah. It's not as much about it. The ears have made it back. Yeah, they do. Okay, we did it, guys. The ears. Look at these things. These are rocking, man. We're showing the block. Yeah, it kind of, it, it's, it's, it like kind of goes, it's not a Dooney ear, but it goes along with it. What does it say on the United Kingdom Epcot World Showcase? Okay, anything on the other side? No. But they, yeah, those are very pretty. pretty. Those are pretty. It match this bag, right? Exactly the same brand. They collab. They it's like a collaboration between ears and Dooney bags. I like the, uh, the color. Yeah, no, I do too. I think, and look on the back. It's not just nothing. Those are really nice. Those are very nice. And then you guys could also go with the theme and get your ornament. What you think, Erica? Go, you like that? Yeah, I want to know everybody's take. Um, these are ears that I just still think. Obviously, I don't wear the ears, but I just still think are beautiful ears. And I'm surprised I don't see more people wearing them. Like, they're awesome. Like, how cool are these ears? But no. But yeah, how do you guys like the new ears? Is it a yay or a nay for you guys? What kind of mint are you looking for in here? Are they chocolate mints? Let's find out. Let's go. <laughs> Billy Glenn. They're still working on it. They're still working on it. You know what I should do? I should make a, a corn dog Jimmy topiary and just set it in here. <laughs> and not tell anybody. Just leave it there. See if anybody notices. What? No. Oh my. Okay. See, that is pretty cool. Oh, but yeah. look. <laughs> You, hold on. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. This is one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. So scary. It's a teapot. That is what, amazing. What is happening? How? Ring! Your tea is ringing. That's awesome. I, I like the train. I'm Actually, wondering how much books. that is. How much is this? This one is $95. $95. $95. $95. Yeah, 95. Awesome. Thank you. That is I hilarious. Awesome. I do. She like it. Okay. That is, that is just awesome. Fox's Mints. Fox's Mints. Are they in the store usually? I'm guessing. Well, this is all tea, this is all tea right now, so I'm guessing they'd be back that way. 
We're gonna go back this way. We're just on a bunch of adventures. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Oh, we should have got water here with ice on it. I think. What is this? Salted almond and butterscotch. Tracy Lawson. Okay. Yeah. See, I like those. I like the I like the older ones. <laughs> Diz me. What's going on? I I wonder if you could call collect. I don't know. You could try. One eight hundred collect. I'm just looking in like the areas over here. They got munchies. I don't know if I've ever tried munchies. Fruit pastels. Looking to see if they have anything that says mint. Oh, are these right here? Is this what it is, Christy? I think this is, uh, let me know if this is the one that you're looking for. Yorkshire Simon, what's going on? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I found them. Look at me finding them. Now I gotta find Queen and let her know. I found them. I found them. Right over yonder. Oh, Foxes I was Glacier Mint. I was looking for a. Uh, for like chocolate, chocolate mint? Yeah. yeah. No, like. They look like, uh, they look like little me. ice cubes. That's awesome. And they got je jelly tots. Really? Yeah, they're good. They're really good. And I have to try Four bucks. It's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Billy. Billy's proud of me. I found these mints all by myself. Oh, my God. Huh? Christy J, let me know if you need a cheat mint. <laughs> yeah, let her know. Absolutely, Christy J. That was fun. I... I like having to hunt for things. It's exciting because you don't know if you're going to find them or not. But it's very rewarding when you actually do find them. <laughs> and you got Pooh Bear. The only thing, the only thing I wish, I wish, I wish this shirt could be a little more red. But maybe it's going to fill in, right? I'm guessing. Maybe it's just really. Uh, not not bloomed yet. So I don't want to jump to conclusions, you know. Jump to conclusions, Matt. It's a mat with a bunch of different conclusions on it that you can jump to. <laughs> Does anybody know what movie that's from? Please tell me you do. It is my favorite comedy of all time. Favorite comedy of all time. Uh, Diz Our Life. Well, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. No, seriously. Thank you for any uh, new subscribers. Uh, just so you know, our channel is all about spreading some good positive vibes. Uh, it, it's just the easiest way to put it. We just like to have fun, uh, try to uplift people, put a smile on their face, you know, and uh, no, 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 no llamas that are drama filled on this channel. None of that. We just have a good time. Office space, Casey. Yeah. Christina L., you guys are the best. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, it's my favorite comedy of all time. Office space. It's just too funny. <laughs> it's too funny. Well, I think we need another little zen here with some water elements. So, guys, we're going to take a nice long one. Take a deep breath. Enjoy the fact that you still have half your Sunday left, you know? So, uh, breathe it in.
Oh yeah, we went extra long on that one. And guys, it's always those things that just happen naturally, like a bird flying through our zen. How awesome is that? <laughs> it's just amazing. All right, guys, so beep. that is going to do it for us today. We hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to uh, our, our folks that have been uh, hanging with us for a long time. And uh, can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Thank you to the mods today. Thank you for uh, new memberships. Thank you for folks that have, uh, you know, been with us on the membership uh, thing for a long time. It helps us out so much uh, to keep doing what we do on the channel. Uh, and we love what we do. So can't thank you guys enough. Uh, but I'm telling you right now, after we shut this down, please go check out our newest vlog. It is Sweet Treats. Sweet, sweet Treats, right? Uh, it's a vacation rental with 11 themed rooms. Sweet Escape. Sweet Escape. The sun sweet is getting sweet to do it. No, but it, yeah. it's amazing. You need to check it out. Uh, it's got an ice cream shaped pool, whole bunch of stuff. And that watching the vlogs, it just helps us out, uh, you know, on the channel to keep going and keep growing. So uh, yeah, seriously, thank you guys. Um, and keep an eye out for some more vlogs coming up this week. Uh, we're gonna have a vlog up on no, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Maybe. On Wednesday, we'll have a new vlog up. Um, so, but guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye. Have a great week. We love you so much. And uh, take care of yourself. Take care of all your loved ones. Be good to each other out there. Until we see you next time, guys. Remember, seriously, there's only one way to live. In the moment. In the Thank moment. You so much. Love you guys, and we'll take it out on one last Zen. Boop.